Hey, hey, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Live call-ins, man. Live call-ins. Let's go. Let's get it popping right now. Yeah. Yeah, let me fix the chat real quick. Let me fix the chat. Hey, man, what up with y'all, man? Hey, I'm finna, send, I'm finna send a Zoom link in the thing right now. Hold on. What up with y'all, man? Hey, first off, first and foremost, though, hey, we fixed the mic. Hey, let me know. Let me know if the mic is good. Let me know if the mic is good. We doing live call-ins. Look, live call-ins. Live call-ins on Zoom. I'm going to put a link in the chat. Hey, let me know if the mic is good. Let me know if the mic is good, right? I know last time you could only hear it in the left. I fixed it, though. I should have fixed it. Let me know if the mic is good, right? Let's get it, though. I'm about to start these Zoom calls. Let me know if the mic is good because I don't want to start it. You say, the mic cool? Bet, bet. I see one comment, the mic cool. Bet. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. For sure. Hey, man, hold on. First of all, what I want to go over real quick, you know what I'm saying, before I send this uh, the Zoom call out, so you know what I'm saying, you can... um. Before I send the Zoom call out so y'all can join, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can answer, I can ask y'all questions. Cause we can still do the emails in the future, but right now I want to actually talk to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so look, if you purchase a ticket to my live seminar in Miami, February 23rd, look, cause somebody asked me, yo, I purchased a ticket. Um, where's the Addy? It didn't come with the ticket. We are sending out the Addy a week before. Okay. So if you put the right email, you're gonna get it, you're gonna get an email too. You're gonna get an email. Two sent to your email saying what the Addy is. Because we're not just going to give out the Addy. Because then we're just going to have random people popping up. People ain't pay for tickets. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to get an email sent to you about the Addy. You know what I'm saying? So you're definitely going to get the Addy for sure, for sure. But, hey, I want y'all to spam up. What do y'all want to see me talk about in the seminar? For sure. I already got topics I'm going to talk about. I'm, you know what I'm saying? But what do y'all specifically want to see? I'm going to look back at this live. I want y'all to spam up. What do y'all want to see? So, yo, no matter of fact, I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I'm talking about in the seminar. So look, if you didn't watch my last live, you don't know how the seminar is going to go. How it's going to go is, yo, we're going to do a cacao ceremony. It's going to be a networking event. We're going to have a meditation session. We're going to have good food there. It's going to be venues there or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Me and Sticks are going to do a live podcast. So we're going to do a lot, a live podcast right in front of everybody. Y'all can ask questions as well, too, while we're doing the podcast. You feel me? It's going to be a vibe. Then, after that, we might have a few performances going on. After that... Now it's like, okay, cool. Now we're going to have our monologues, a.k.a. our live lectures. So, for instance, she going to go first, I'm going to go last. Now, what I'm going to talk about in my lecture, I'm going to put y'all on everything that I'm going to put y'all on to during the lecture, right? Uh, Where my notes at? Where my notes at real quick? Where my notes at? So, boom, first thing we're going to be talking about is the self-image, for sure, for sure. I got to start it off with the self-image. Hey, hey, I got to start it off with the self-image. You feel me? And then I ain't going to lie. Y'all know me. I'm going to be freestyling. Like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to seem like it's going to seem it's, it's gonna be serious, but y'all know how I get. Like, it's going to be a little bit of comedy mixed with a little bit of, like, not a, like a whole lot of realness. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of realness. Uh, Definitely going to be talking about discipline, mental strength, uh, becoming your highest version. Definitely going to be breaking down how to manifest and literally like every step, literally everything when it comes to manifestation, um, definitely going to be breaking down why you should not be humble, for sure, for sure. I could break that down right now, but we're going to break that down right now, too. Uh, Hold on, bro. Hey, if you spamming, you automatically is over with. I ain't going to lie. You tripping. You tripping. But, hey. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, man, I'm about to send a Zoom call link in there right now. Let's get it. <laughs> About to send that Zoom call link in there right now. Yeah, man, let's keep it, let's keep it, let's keep it grown. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't little kids, man. If you a little kid, bro, and you spamming, it's like, come on, bro. You got better things to do. While you spamming, bro, you ain't like spamming ain't getting you no money. Spamming ain't getting you no knowledge. Spamming ain't getting you nothing. So it's like spamming on a video. It's like I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's like it's 2024, bro. Like, bro, you might as well. You better. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's just me. How I view it. Hold on, let me uh let me go ahead and get him up out of here because I don't I don't do the spamming shit. I ain't gonna lie, I don't do the spamming shit. Nah. Hey man, look, I'm about to I'm about to send a Zoom call link in here right now though. Finna send it right now. Hey, and if you bought a VIP ticket to the live seminar, if you bought that, if you bought that, the VIP ticket is so you can actually have a sit down dinner with me and Sticks and everybody else that's a present in the uh present in the venue. If you didn't buy a VIP ticket, that's not for you. Also, you are gonna get my free supplements. You are gonna get free supplements for me. Um, you gonna get some clothes from Sticks. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, it's not just sitting down with us, talking to us, and networking with us. You also gonna get things that we're giving to you too as well too. Boom. Hey, let me start this up real quick, man. Let me start this up. Man, I thought about, I ain't gonna lie, man. I was like, I was feeling tired too before I did this live. I, I worked out, bro. I, I just ate some food. I ate some chickpea pasta, bro. I was like, bro, I'm finna go to sleep. I ain't gonna lie. But I was like, nah, let me do this live though. Hey, man, I'm finna send, I'm finna send the link out right now. 
Uh, how you share this? How you share this? Y'all know me. I'm an old man when it comes to technology. <laughs> oh my gosh. How you share this? Uh, meeting settings. How you share this? Bro, why they make it complicated? I just want to share it. I don't care about none of this. Uh, sense it. Bro. Bro, I don't care about none of this. Just give me the link. Hold on. How you share this, though? <laughs> You know I don't care, bro. How you? Oh, here it go. Here it go. Here it go. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. How you share this? Uh, meeting settings. How you share this though? That's what I'm trying to see, bro. Hold on, I ain't even. I ain't even being retarded right now. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even being retarded. Now that's really not even bringing up an option for me to share this. It's usually easier on the computer. Oh, here it go. Invite for show. For show. For show. It's a neck. Hey, if you laughing, fuck you. On game. <laughs> hey man, here it go right here. Here it go right here. Here it go right here. Nigga, he talking about this nigga old ass. Man, I'm 21. I'm probably, I'm probably, I ain't gonna lie, I'm probably the same age as y'all or younger. PM message. There it go right there. Y'all join in. There it go right there. Y'all join in, man. Y'all join in. Uh. Uh. I'm gonna be y'all free therapist for the day. Appreciate this. I'm being y'all free therapists. I'm being y'all free therapists for the day. Don't go to your therapist. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't have dudes. I don't have dudes tell me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it confidential. But like, you probably know who you is if you're watching this, bro. I don't have dudes dead ass tell me no cap. I'm talking. About, I don't have dudes because I used to do consultations. I do a culture program now, so I don't do consultations no more. I do a culture program, three month culture programs, to where we do two weekly group calls. You can text me at any time. You get lifetime access to my uh university, my Tuka University. Lifetime access to that. You never gotta pay for that ever in your life. Um, and you get my supplements for free, right? So boom, I got a couple dudes that joined that or whatever. But before that, I used to do consultations, one on one consultations, just like one time calls. I don't do that no more. But I done had dudes call me up and be like, "Bro, I need you to help me, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. I shot, I shot, buddy. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He talking about, he talking about, yeah, bro. Like I shot, buddy, bro, broad day, bro. Like I don't know what to do. I think they looking for me. I'm like, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro. I'm like, hey, it ain't funny, but I give him, I give him some real advice though. I give him some real advice, but I'm like, damn, bro, that's love. Like you that comfortable to where you just want to tell me that? That's real, cause I, I I ain't gonna say nothing. I don't care for real. I don't even remember it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm only bringing it up right now, honestly. I don't even know what I'm talking about, bro. That ain't even never even happened. <laughs> hey man, I'm about to put. Hey, so look, first person I'm putting in here is Trey. That's the first person I'm putting in here. Hold on, let me turn my camera off. This is going to be a phone call. Yeah, it's going to be a phone call. First person I'm putting in here, man. Let's get it. Yo. Yo. Yo, Yo what up, my boy? What's cracking, Vaughn? Hell yeah, bro. How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling great. about you, bro? I'm trying to... Is you going to turn my shit on or not? You said, huh? Is you going to turn my shit on or not? My, my camera on and shit? Yeah, go ahead, bro. I don't care. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Hold up. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah, man. What's your question, man? What you, what you got going on, though, bro? Man, not much, bro. Nigga, I work. I just had a question on the main, bro. Yo. Like, okay, so I remember back then, like, I think it's like the like, my bad. Um, I remember back in the day, you had, uh, you, you basically said that you was kind of like dumb making YouTube videos, man. What made you want to turn back to spirituality? Oh, nah, bro. I ain't spiritual. I'm a god. It's two different things. Word? Yeah, yeah, word. For sure. Yeah, I ain't spiritual, bro. Nah, I'm fucking with you, bro. I put that in the song. That's why I said that. <laughs> but nah, I'm a, I ain't spiritual, bro. Definitely not. So, like, when, when it comes to making videos, bro, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to go through certain things in life. You're going to go through certain uh, realities in life. You feel what I'm saying? You're going to go through certain mindset right. shifts. I like my story, bro, and I like the way I do things because I'm authentic, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I believe something at a certain point in time, bro, then I'm going to show people what I believe. Like, I ain't no fake motherfucker. Like, I'm not going to show you. Like, I'm not going to show you what I'm not on. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one thing about me. Like, if I got a certain lifestyle, bro, if I got a certain way that I think, then I'm going to put that out to the world no matter what it is because I'm going to be always, I'm going to always be authentically me no matter what. Like, I'm not going to be out here acting like, you know what I'm saying? I'm meditating. I'm doing this if I'm really not doing that. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm not doing that, then I'm not finna be talking like I am doing that. You feel what I'm saying? So like, mm -hmm. yeah. 
I feel you. I feel you. Oh, yeah. That was your question, though? Yeah, that's my question. That's all I had to say. I got to get back to work, bro. Yeah, that's a bet, bro. Stay great, money. Let's get it. Hell yeah, real one, real one. Hell yeah, he said got to get to work. That man getting to the money. He about to put his people on. Hey, look, let's go. Next one, man, next one. Yo. Yo. Oh, he connected the audio for sure. How y'all feeling, man? How y'all feeling in the comments, man? How y'all feeling? Yo. Oh, man, he got, yo. I was about to say, I thought you had McDonald's Wi-Fi, my boy. What up? Yo. Yo. Oh, he left. What the hell? How you gonna join and leave, bro? I'm gonna I'm gonna put this person in. I ain't even gonna look at who I'm putting in. I'm gonna just pick random. I ain't gonna lie. Got somebody else connecting to the audio. Man, y'all gotta come on with the McDonald's Wi-Fi. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I ain't gonna do y'all like that. I'm playing. Nah, this, she ain't got McDonald's Wi-Fi. She connected fast. Hello? 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 You can hear me? Hello? Yeah, what's up? Hi, how are you doing, Vaughn? I'm doing good. What about you? I'm doing amazing tonight. I'm so, I'm just here to say hi. I don't have any questions. I just love the energy that you've been giving off lately. And yeah, I've been following you for a while and I love all your takes and inputs on things. And um, I even put my family onto your videos. They didn't like how you were cursing. Hey, hey, yeah, I know. I got to chill on the cursing for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like I showed them the solution and like how just everything, like I'm telling you how, you know, Christianity is just basically um, based on comedic religion, well, not even religion, just tradition in our culture and stuff like that. And I, it resonated so much with me that I really connected to who I really am. Like, I really feel that. And I even have like the free form lots going on. Oh, that's lit. Really that's good. lit. That's lit. Yeah. yeah I got a free form too. Y'all. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just want to say hi. Hi stream. I hope everyone's having a good night. Hell yeah. Hey, we needed that energy. Hey, hey, hey. Appreciate you, queen. No problem. Bye, guys. Yo. Hey, that was real right there. Yo, that was real right there. Yeah, that's the type of energy we need, though. It's the type of energy we need. Let me get somebody else in here. I ain't looking to look. I ain't going to look. Uh. Appreciate anybody that supported the book. What's up, my man? Wait, Yo, what's good, bro? Yo, is it? What's good, Vaughn? Yeah, what up, my man? What's your name, bro? My name David. David, that's a bet, man. Hey, you got any questions for me, man? Yes. So, I'm in a bit of a, like, situation, right? In school. Mm-hmm. Last year, in my last grade, I kind of messed up. I was, like, all nervous and in my awkward stages. So I'm trying to ask you, how do I stop that reputation from, like, going around? You talking about reputation? So what you mean reputation? Do you mean how do you stop it? How, how do you stop you doing that? Or do you how do you stop people viewing you like that? How do I stop people from viewing you like that? Oh, so you care about what people think. Uh, 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 nah, bro. You care about what people think. Because if you didn't, it would be a nah. You you stutter with that. Uh, 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 uh. And there's nothing wrong with that, bro. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. But first off, bro, I ain't going to lie to you, bro. It don't matter how you view yourself, bro. I ain't going to lie, man. People going to view you how they want to view you. It is what it is. So it's like you can't even rely on that. So now let's actually work on the actual problem at hand. You want to be more outgoing. You want to be more confident when you talk to people. So I got to ask you this. Yes, do you do you talk to yourself? Like when you be in your crib, do you be venting your thoughts out loud? Do you be talking to yourself? Like are you your best homie is what I got to say. I mean, yes, I be vibing with myself. For sure. Like, For sure. And now what's the difference between you vibing by yourself to when you actually go out with people and vibe? Like, when I go out with other people, I feel like I have to act a certain way for them not to treat me like how I don't want to be treated. So, so first off, bro, I feel, it sounds like you, you hanging with the wrong people. I ain't going to lie to you, bro, because it's like, if you can't, this is how I feel, bro. 
if I can't be the same individual that I truly am in my room and in the privacy of my home, if I can't be that around a certain individual, I don't need to be around that individual no more. You feel what I'm saying? What grade did you in? Uh, I'm in seventh. You in seventh grade? Bro, damn, I thought you was like, bro, I thought you was in high school. You in seventh grade? Bro, you a real one, bro. You in seventh grade? Okay, for sure. For sure. <laughs> you a real one, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You at that age, bro, where it's like... A lot of people, bro, I ain't gonna lie, don't even say nothing serious in middle school, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, people don't know themselves, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro, people do not know themselves at all, even in high school, people don't even know themselves, bro, y'all growing up, y'all changing or whatever, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro, don't be taking things seriously, bro, that's something that's that's big, bro, I wish somebody would've told me that, bro, because I ain't gonna lie, bro, a lot of, not even a lot of kids, 99.9% .9 of the time, bro, anybody that try to get on you for something, bro, anybody that try to pick on you for something, bro, bro, they really just insecure themselves, bro, and they kids. So it's like, I ain't gonna lie, bro, you know how many dudes, bro, that I had beef with or that I had problems with in middle school or high school, right? And now, like, as a grown man, bro, as a grown man, they didn't came to me, whether it was last year, bro, one just came to me two weeks ago. Like, whether it was last year, whether it was the year before that, or even, like, even after we graduated, bro, it don't matter. They didn't all came to me, bro, and they didn't all, like, said, like, yo, bro, keep doing your thing, bro. Like, they apologized, whatever the case may be. Bro, it's dudes in middle school that I had problems with. In high school, they were trying to be my homie, bro. Like, they were trying to be best friends with me, bro, no cap. Because now I'm getting all the girls. Now everybody fuck with me now, so now they just trying to rock. Like, you know what I'm saying? They just trying to be around me because I'm cool, whatever. But it's like, I'm not fucking with you. You feel what I'm saying? But understand like this, bro. Y'all kids, man. So it's like, what you really going through, I'm not saying that it don't matter. But what I'm saying is, it's like, bro, everything that you're going through right now, bro, you got to look at any traumatic experience that you have, whether it's a big traumatic experience or a small traumatic experience. You need to look at it like, bro, what's helping you grow. Like, you going through this period of like, oh, dang, you can't feel like you can't express yourself and things like that because bro you're gonna do some big things in life bro i feel like the same way bro bro i used to take bro a lot of people don't know this i used to take speech class speech classes like speak you know y'all ever had speech classes back in like elementary i used to be the kid bro with a bunch of other kids i used to get pulled out the classroom in first grade right to go to speech class bro speech therapy i took speech therapy bro when i was in first grade now i didn't even look at that like it was something wrong with me bro like people used to get on me for that or whatever i ain't care i was still that nigga but like people used to get on me for that or whatever right now look that was first grade bro first grade through fourth grade i went to speech therapy now fast forward look at my life now look at what i'm doing now you see what i'm saying bro this is not no like this is not make believe you see what i'm saying i went through that speech therapy to get me ready to do this shit bro i'm about to do a fucking whole live seminar february 23rd bro in front of people talking bro you see what I'm saying? So it was like whole time I could have been a victim. I could have been letting that as a little kid affect me in life. And I could have been feeling like, oh, I don't know how to talk. I want the speech therapy. Nah, I know how to talk for sure, for sure. I know how to talk. You see what I'm saying? So that's how I gotta, that's what I got to say to you, bro. It's like right now you just need to get more comfortable in your skin and not relying on how other people view you, bro. Because you young. It's understandable that, you know what I'm saying, you allow other people to view you in a certain way. But that's cool, bro. You got to, your life going to go up, bro, once you stop caring about other people's opinions. Simple as that, bro. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, my name. Hey, keep doing you, bro. Let's get it. Hell yeah. Real one. Like, I just gotta say this real quick. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. How to have pride in yourself, like in um Don't have pride in yourself. It's not about having pride in yourself. It's about having love in yourself. Have love in yourself, right? Love is the thing that's going to fuel that confidence. Because if you love and respect yourself to a certain level, a lot of people, bro, don't have confidence because they don't love and respect themselves like that. Bro, I love myself, so I ain't never going to let you push me over. I love myself too much for that. I will kill you before I do that, right? Now, I don't got to be violent like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just speaking hypothetically. You feel me? But but I'm going to just keep it real. Like, I love myself, bro, to like the certain extent to where like I don't allow no disrespect, none of that, bro. I care about myself too much for that right i care about everybody as, as well too but at the end of the day i'm the person i gotta go to sleep with and i'm the person that i gotta wake up with every single day so i gotta make sure no matter what everybody around me gonna eat but i gotta eat for sure for sure simple as that exactly facts man hell yeah man you already know my man hey stay great bros get it yo real one next one how y'all feeling, man? How y'all feeling? Spam with the fires. Spam with the fires if I need to keep doing this. Spam with the fires, man. Spam with the fires. Hey, you getting the call by joining the Zoom link. It's pinned. I pinned it. Yo. Yo, man. What up, what's my man? Good? Yeah, what good, man, man? Hey, I remember I got to say one of your lives from like 2021. Yo, yo, that's lit. That's lit. Yeah, of course, bro. I don't even, I don't even try to like label it, bro. I just do it. Yeah, but like, on some real shit, like I, like I watched the video, 
Oh, you were talking about like no prep and the benefits, bro. Yeah. Yo. I'm talking about back then when I used to do that shit, bro. I used to wake up feeling drained as fuck, bro. Yeah. And negative, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Why the fuck I feel like this, bro? Yeah. Like, I couldn't do shit. I ain't want to do shit or nothing, bro. Yeah. That shit was bad, bro. Wasting your energy. Before, like, like porn and shit too, because like I never was watching porn. Like I released what I like, you know, watching porn. It'd be just like doing that shit. And then I see, I notice like a cycle. Like if I do that shit, it's gonna make me want to do it again type shit. Facts, bro. Anything that you do one time, you liable to do it a second time, for sure, for sure. So it's like, if you not, if, if this ain't something that you want to keep doing over and over and over again, don't even do it one time. Yeah, bro. Facts, my I boy. I had dropped the video, too, bro. I had dropped the video, like, no fab and semen retention, though. Okay, that's hard, my boy. Yeah. You got any questions? Uh, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Put me on. Uh, how, did you, how, did, how did you come up with your, like, come, come up off your business and shit? Uh, which one? Like the uh, the supplement and shit. Oh, you just did, you did it through like networking, like with uh through YouTube and shit with your fan base. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, through my fan base. But it's all type of ways, bro. You don't need a fan base to do this, bro, honestly. Like, honestly, bro, if you're trying to start a supplement business, any business, like, let's say if you're trying to start a supplement business, what I would say what you need to do is you need to send your your supplements out to influencers, bro. You know what I'm saying? So send your yeah. uh, supplements out to influencers. You could pay for uh, ads. You could do all type of things, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like sending it to out, out to some uh to influencers are the best way because it's organic content. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't seem like a paid ad. A lot of people are against paid ads, but at the end of the day, it's like, I don't see nothing wrong with paid ads. Of course, organic content is better, but you can do both, honestly. I feel like if you're going to do one, then you should do the other as well, too. But yeah, bro, it's people that, it's people, it's people, bro, that don't even got a face out here. They ain't never show their face and have made more money from supplements than me, right? So it's not about having a fan base, bro. It's just about how you market it and making sure that you have a marketing team, making sure that you're putting in some effort when it comes to marketing. Like, even my supplements, like, we ain't did ads and nothing like that, but we're definitely moving towards that route as well, too. Because right now, I'm just really the marketing team, and then some of my homies promote my supplements as well too and it's doing very good you know what i'm saying but like we can definitely do better we can always do better than we did yesterday you feel me yeah tight shit tight shit yeah, yeah facts my man to, uh, actually like get, give me some tips on doing content because i'm thinking about like doing youtube and shit like just vlogging and shit yeah you know how like most of the youtubers they just do the same shit like pranks and shit. yeah like i feel like that shit just like lame like I wanna, it's like, just about it's just about first what do you want to what do you want to do on there I mean, shit, like, really, like I was saying, like, vlogging shit, you feel me? Okay, and but what like, you gonna vlog, like, though? Talk about real shit at the, same, at the same time, just, like, whatever I'm doing in my daily life and shit. For sure. So this is how you need to go about it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You need to treat your YouTube like it's a business. You need to treat your YouTube like a store. So, like, if you got a store, bro, and I go inside your store... And it's just about to be about your life and I'm about to see your daily vlog. Bro, the only way I'm about to stay in that store is if your life is lit as hell. Is your life lit, bro? Like, is your life actually lit? Like, you got to be interesting with that shit. Like, you got to, like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's... So, so okay, so that's the problem that you got. So, that means your life ain't lit, bro. I feel like I don't, like, I ain't interested on some shit, like... Like, I can get lit, but I don't want to fake that shit, you feel me? Like, I, you, you know what I'm saying? I feel, like, I feel like this, bro. Really, you should need to focus on providing value to some people. Like, focus on providing value to a person. You know what I'm saying? Like, people watch me because I'm providing value to them. If I want to start doing vlogs, if I want to start doing a little entertainment, then I can do that on a whole another channel, and people are going to watch it because I'm already known for, like, giving value and things like that, right? But it's like, I'm just an entertaining person, you feel me? So it's like... That's what I got to say to you. Focus on what do you want to provide to people and then at the same time, try to align doing YouTube with your purpose as well too. Like I just had a dude or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He probably watching this live. Like he just told me that uh, like I changed his life. I helped him with his videos or whatever, you feel me? And I, I don't judge nobody at all, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm grateful for everybody I help, but it's like I go to his YouTube or whatever and not even YouTube, his, his Instagram. I ain't going to lie, bro. From the, type of, from the type of time he on, you wouldn't even think that he watched me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he do, like, smash or pass videos. Like, he got girls in them. Like, he be doing crazy shit. Like, it's it's like it's like crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? But you don't, like, you don't even think, like, bro, you watch me? Like, I talk about semen retention and all this shit. You ain't even on that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't even seem like you watch me for real. You feel me? But at the same time, it's like, that's what I got to say about it. It's like, you need to do something that actually is providing some value to the world, bro, not distracting people. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Facts, my boy. Facts, my boy. Hey. Yo. What you need to do is you need to you need to take that home, bro, and you need to think on that and really see what you want to provide to people, bro. Definitely. And that's not even just YouTube. That's your business in general. What type of value you want to provide to people, bro? Hey, I appreciate you joining this shit, my nigga. Hey, hold on. One more question. One more question. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Hey, what's the last question? What was the hardest part about your life? 
you know, your my hardest point about my life. Business. Hardest. Yeah, your life. You said my hardest part about my business. But nothing, bro. <laughs> Ain't nothing hard about my business, bro. Yeah, it yeah, take money to it take money to make money, but it's like, like, bro, something is something that's hard, something that's easy to me is hard to somebody else, bro. So like, ain't nothing really hard for real. You know what I'm saying? Like my, my the way I view hard, bro, is like for instance, bro, get, like I already got a business that's off the ground, bro. Like, yo, I view hard as in like somebody is sleeping outside right now. Like, if we talking about hard, like, I think that's hard. Like, and we, if we talking about business, it's like, what's really hard about that, bro? You just got to do the work. Like, that's like asking me, bro, did you think, do you think it's, do you think it's hard? Did, like, what's the hardest part about working out in the gym? Showing up. Shit, that's the hardest part. Like, once I show up to the gym, everything done for real, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, same part with the business, bro. Like, the hardest part that I have to say is really just showing up for real. And that's easy. All you got to do is show up. You feel what I'm saying? But, yeah, bro, I appreciate you, my man. Let's get it. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, real one, real one. Next person, man. Next person, let's get it. Working out in the gym, showing up. Shit, that's the hardest part. <laughs> hey, yo, mute, mute that real quick, bro. I thought that, I thought that was him. That's me. What up, bro? Hey, what's good, bro? Yo, bro, what up, what up, bro? What's your name? My name is Ali, bro. Ali? Ali, yep. That's a bet. Hey, where, where you calling in from, bro? I should have been asking that. I'm calling from Denver, bro. Denver? Denver? That's a hard, that's yeah. bet. That's a bet. I've never been to Denver before. Hey, so put me on, bro. What, what, what question you got for me? Uh, bro, I got a little, I got, because I, I was watching the stream, bro, and you said, like, you're not really spiritual and stuff, which I understand, because it kind of relates to my question. Facts. I was going to ask you about, um, your video, like the hamster wheel video, bro, because when, cause like, the deeper I go on my journey, bro, like, the shit you said in that video, like, that shit, that shit resonates a lot with me, and it makes me kind of, like, want to step away from spirituality, you feel me? Because yeah. I stay grounded, and, yeah, that's pretty much my question. Like, how did you stay grounded throughout that time, and, like, what's your stance on that video now? Uh, well, I'll tell you my stance on it now, bro. Honestly, man, yo, bro, I was I was going through life, bro. And not even when I say life, I don't mean life. Like, I mean, like, mental, mental things, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, not in a bad way, though. Like, I was going through awakenings. You feel me? Like, you're going to always go through awakenings, bro. You're going to always evolve, bro. Like, I'm never going to stay the same person. Like, who I am now is going to be different from who I am a year later. You know what I'm saying? So, like, how I look at that stance now, bro, is like, it's facts, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like the way I was viewing it in that video was just a pessimistic view. What I didn't understand was there's no such thing as neutral. Right. That's what I didn't understand at that time in that time of the video. It's like at the end of the day, it's like that's a truth. That is true. Like we are just here. We all souls and we never die. It just is what it is. And we gonna keep coming back over and over. But why bitch about it? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, why would you look at it in a in a negative way, in a pessimistic view? That's your fault. That's nobody else's fault. So it's like, you can't look at it like that, bro. Like, you got to see the truth for what it is. And then, okay, cool. It is what it is. So it's like, you got to make it into heaven. You know what I'm saying? You got to make this reality into heaven. Because at the end of the day, bro, it's about results. Like, bro, is that a truth? For sure, for sure. But is it also true that you can make this shit a pessimistic world? Can you make this world horrible? Or can you make this world even better than what it is? And when I say the world, I'm not talking about everybody else's world. I'm talking about your world specifically you know what i'm saying so that just is what it is bro then you got to think about it like this bro at that time man i was just turning 18 bro i ain't really seen the world for real bro i ain't had no passport i ain't travel or nothing like i'm really just speaking from my mindset what i've seen and my environment bro i'm not realizing that bro the earth is a beautiful place bro like i'm not realizing that like yo i can go hop on a plane like i didn't i never even i never even been outside the country at that point in time i never even no cap i never this was before i even went to california keep this in mind like i ain't never even went to cali at that time like i ain't never went nowhere else but north carolina virginia like that was it and and in atlanta that was it like i ain't never been nowhere else so i would just had a locked in mindset with environment yeah i was very wise for my age but bro i was still growing you know what i'm saying so it's like once i actually started traveling and i started seeing the world i realized like yo like you got so much to do in this world you got so much to experience man you feel me and that's why you lose your memory every time you come back you feel what i'm saying yeah you lose your memory every time you come back because it's like you got to understand like this right now we just playing as a movie character bro and it's always a different movie just like everybody just like how people was always watching netflix movies they always watching movies 
movies just on Netflix or just whatever streaming platform they got. It's just like how reincarnation is, man. So right now I'm just living in my movie. That's why I ain't got time to watch Netflix. Fuck all that. If I want to see a different movie, then fuck all that. I'm going to just make a different movie right now. You feel me? Simple as that, man. So like, that's what I got to say about that, bro. And then you can get deeper with it. You know what I'm saying? You can get deeper with the reincarnation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some people, some people choose to come back. Some people are forced to come back. That's two different things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I choose to come here, so I can't even be complaining. You feel me? I, it was a choice for me to come here. Some people, ugh, nah, they got they got trapped. <laughs> That's a whole different thing. That's a whole different thing. But, I hey, man, I appreciate you, man. You got any other question? Yeah, bro. I was just going to say, like, sure. I feel like that's some shit that, like, whenever it arises, right, like, like that type of shit, like, if I'm going to come back or I'm going to move on, like, that's something you just got to take on the chin. Like, when it comes, right, you can't think about it right now. You just got to. You know, stay in the moment and live your life out. But I feel you, bro. Appreciate the insight, though. That's a bit, my boy. Yo, stay great, bro. You too, man. Yo. Real one, real one. Yo, 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 yo. Who the next one, man? Who the next one, man? Hey, hey! Let's go. <laughs> His name God. I'm about to put him in here. His name God. <laughs> I got to put him in here. Yo, yo, we're good, bro. I don't think he can edit to the audio. All right, I'm putting him up out of here. Next one, man, next one, man, let's go. I'm loving the questions so far, no cap, I'm loving the questions. Oh, they ain't want to get up in here. Oh, yes, they did. Yes, they did. Let's go. Let's go. What time is it? What time is it? This is how I like spending my Saturday night. I like spending my Saturday night answering questions, helping people's lives. You feel me? Some niggas like going to the club, talking to people that don't even know them, talking to people that don't even fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Wasting their time, not doing nothing with their life. It's crazy. What up? Yo, so my question is, is like... Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. What's your name, bro? Hey, son. Hey, son. That's a bet, bro. Where you, where you calling in from? St. Louis, Missouri. That's a bet. St. Louis, let's get it. Hey, what's your question, though? Like, I'm an athlete, so yeah. I just want to know how do you stay mentally prepared? Because, like, I'm like I'm in a physical sport, wrestling, so I'm literally scared out of my mind. But when the whistle blows, it, like, it just goes away. Yeah. I just want to. Yeah, I just want to stay mentally prepared and stay confident in what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, I think you need to read a book called Relentless by Tim S. Grover, bro. Definitely. Go read a book called Relentless Time Tim S. I mean, by Tim S. Grover. And this is something else I got to tell you, my boy. Um, Honestly, man, if I'm in your situation, I'm not going to lie, bro. Me... You got to tap into that t that fight or flight instinct, right? And what you doing is trying to fly away. Cuz I know you ain't no bitch ass nigga. I'm gonna be real. I know you I know you ain't no bitch ass individual you watching me, you feel me? So it's like what you need to do is you need to tap into that inner warrior. You need to tap into tap into that inner motherfucker, right? <laughs> like Marshawn Lynch said, you got to run through a motherfucker over and over and over and over and over and over again. Simple as that. So like wrestling, that's straight like that's straight contact like that's not even fighting that's just straight slamming motherfuckers putting them on the ground pinning them so honestly bro you got to be a monster when it come to that bro like it got to be it got to you got to have the mindset bro to where it's like i ain't gonna lie i'm walking in there like i got the biggest balls in the room i'm not gonna lie i'm walking in there like bro i'm really that nigga for real any nigga that i face yo he got to get put on his head simple as that like when i see him and i'm in front of him he getting put on his head like under uh, under no circumstances am i losing that's the type of mindset you got to have bro so it's like that fear that you feeling you got to overpower that with fire and love right you got to overpower that it's like it's like it's like i look at it like this right imagine that fear is an actual person and it's right in front of you and fear is looking you in the face you got to make fear fear you that's the type of time you be on like when motherfuckers tell me they living in fear i think to myself like nigga fear is scared of me that motherfucker don't even come around me you see what i'm saying so it's like you got to become the motherfucker that fear is scared of once you become that oh it's over with <laughs> it's over with i ain't gonna lie to you it's over with my boy Appreciate that super chat. Y'all, y'all. Hey, you got any other question, though? Nah, thank you. That's all I needed. Appreciate your time. You already know, my boy. Hey, I believe in you, though, bro. 
Don't let them slam you on your head, bro. Don't let them slam you on your head, my boy. Don't let them slam you on your head, my boy. Understand it like this. Both of y'all bleed red. He bleed red just like you. And think about it like this. He thinking the same thing as you. He probably scared too. Like, damn, like, okay, I got to make sure I do my thing on this. Nah, bro, you ain't scared. We don't know what that feeling is, bro. Simple. Yo, let's get it, my boy. Hey, hey. Real one. Next one, man. Next one. Let's go. Yo. Yo, what's good? What's good? How you? What's good, bro? Where you calling in from? I'm calling from Northern Virginia, DC area. Hey, I mess with DC, bro. DC hard. I, I love DC, bro. I love DC for sure. I got I got I got love for I got love for mad people in DC, no cap. Hey, what's your name though, bro? My name's Manny, but my real name is Manuel. That's a bet. That's a bet. Oh, bro, I'm gonna put you one back in here, bro. I got you. I got you. Appreciate that super chat. Hey, bro, so what I was gonna say was, uh, what was what was I finna say? Yeah, bro, what's your, what's your question for me, bro? Well, pretty much like around twenty twenty one, somewhere around that time, like yeah, uh, I, I was a, I was I was doing stupid uh, amount of psychedelics like LSD and shrooms and shit like that. Yeah, and then I ended up like getting like my past trauma on me, and I was picking up mad thoughts about my own trauma and stuff, and I got into like a traumatized point in my life. And, like, I don't know if it was just the drugs or whatever, but it, every everything I was picking up was real, right? And then ever since then, I've been uh, what's called diagnosed with schizophrenia. I don't know how to fight it. I just know my chakras are on the line. And I've been chanting my mudras and everything every now and then. But every day's a, a battle, you know? Yeah, so, like, what, are your, what does your diet look like? I'm, I used to, uh, I'm not going to lie, ever since I got locked up in what's it called, Petersburg, Virginia, I've been uh I, I I went off being vegan. I was vegan for like two years, and then for sure, what you what you eat right now? What you eat right now? Just name everything that you eat right now off the dome. Uh, tofu. Falafel. Okay. I have noodles every now and then. I know what that noodles? Healthy. You talking about you talking about ramen noodles? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely why for sure. Keep going because that's not even real food. Yeah, let me see. Uh, I get uh lentil curry. I be getting chickpea curry. I be getting. I'm, I'm Ethiopian, so I be eating the lentils that the Ethiopian food be making. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A little vegan options, but besides that, it's like potato, pot cut up potatoes with stew, chickpea flour, all that other stuff. Not flour, but you know, there's a chickpea mix that they make and shit. But that's pretty much what I be eating. Sometimes I eat French fries if it's like if I'm if I really don't have an option to. Bet it's the, it's the the starch my boy it's the starch my boy yeah. so like understand it like this right schizophrenia schizophrenia I can't even say it right schizophrenia for sure yeah. yeah for sure that's a that's a correlation that's showing you because you gotta understand like this bro it's like it's easy to know diseases man you just gotta know okay why do I have this disease in my body so schizophrenia is literally because your spine you have problems with your spine and your brain right so you don't have enough nutrients getting to your brain right when people have epilepsy it's another sign too when people have autism when people have adhd it's another sign that's why i asked you do you have that right because i thought you was gonna say you'd be eating cinnamon cinnamon toast crunch apple jacks and shit like that that's gonna cause that as well too but like honestly you eating fried potatoes appreciate that super chat no i don't think that definitely not i can break that down too as well but nah this is what i was gonna say bro so Right now, what I need you to do is you need to go get skull cap and blue vervain as well. Blue vervain and skull cap, you need to get those herbs that are that are, uh, those are definitely gonna help with your uh, schizophrenia. Um, also, bro, you want to make sure that you lay off the starch. Now, why do you need to lay off the starch? You need to lay off the starch, bro, because your body cannot break down starch. Right? Starch is like bread. Bread is horrible for you. Bread, potatoes, right? Um, um, rice, not wild rice though, rice. And then also as well beans too. So the reason why your body body can't break down starch is because starch is not natural, right? So it's like people that eat a lot of starch be having diabetic problems as well too. Because people think, oh, if you got diabetes, that means oh you be eating too much processed food. It could be that as well too. But most more than likely, you're eating potatoes, right? You're eating baked beans. You're eating just starchy foods. You're eating a lot of bread, and your body cannot break this down. So because your body cannot break down this starch, it's gonna turn all this starch into sugar. So now this is why when you eat bread, you spike your blood sugar. Right, and not only that, people don't understand that when you eat things like wheat, and when you eat other uh, starches as well, these starches strip nutrients from your body, right? And they pour out and they take out uh, alkalinity from your body and put acidity in it, right? So a lot of people think like, oh, well, we need. Some people say stupid shit like this, like, oh, we need to meet, eat more acidic foods because our stomach acid isn't strong enough to break down foods. Mm -hmm. Bro, you literally, bro. 
peep game, right? You got you got you got stomach acid within your body. So your body is already balancing this acid, right? You already have acidity within this body. So guess what? When you put more acidity within the body, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna cause your body to turn into a graveyard, right? It's not even just all the way about meat. It's about acidic things, period. Because a lot of people, a lot of that's why I don't believe in like. I'm not vegan because I care about the animals. Man, fuck them animals. They gonna die anyway. That's why I never understood. Like when people be like, oh, I'm vegan because I don't want the animals to die. Bro, when you become vegan, more animals are gonna die because the farmers have to kill the animals to protect the protect uh, to protect the crops. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like I'm not a vegan because the animals are uh, because of animal cruelty, bro. And more animals are gonna die because you're vegan. I'm vegan because of how meat. And how starchy foods in general just react with the human body. You feel what I'm saying? So peep game, right? I don't like when vegans be like, yeah, like I'm vegan, but then they start eating soy, they they start eating beyond meat. It's like, what, what's the point of you even being vegan? It's like it's not about being vegan, it's about being healthy, my boy. You feel me? But man, that's a whole conversation right there. No cap. But hey, hey, look, I'm gonna just leave you off with this, right? Go take blue vervain, try to cut out as many starches as possible in your diet. Definitely go get blue vervain ASAP, go get skull cap ASAP. And then what's skull cap or just skull cap? Skull cap. And what's another one I can give you? What's another one I can give you? Um, what's another one? I ain't gonna lie, my boy. You can go get my two cut detox and detox things out your body as well, too. Just to detox all that starch out your body and just all that other BS out your body for sure, for sure. But just make sure you get them two herbs though. Blue vervain and the skull cap. Skull cap supplement, right? Yeah. All right, thank you. You already know my boy. Stay great. Let's get it. All right, bet. Yeah, that's a real one. Now, I had to break that down about vegans, though. I ain't gonna lie. Because when people be saying that, bro... See, I ain't, I ain't one of them vegans, bro. I ain't gonna lie. F them animals. They gonna die anyway. I love animals, bro. Animals die every day just like people, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They gonna, they gonna always die, bro. You can't save them all. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm definitely not on the... Let's not eat animals because they gonna be alive. Nah, bro. I'm not putting them in my body because that shit dirty. I ain't doing that. Simple as that. Hey, but now nah, let me answer... The, hold on. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put bro back up in here. Hold on. Put bro back up in here, but somebody said, uh, do I believe that white people, uh, somebody said, hold on, man, yo, bro, you need to join back, I don't know what your name is, bro, I don't see you, I was trying to put you up in here, I was trying to put you up in here, yeah, skull cap definitely helps brain issues, for sure, for sure, yeah, bro, you need to join back, I was trying to put you up in here, rain, I'm, I'm gonna get you too, bro, Yeah, I don't, I don't see you, bro. Where you at? I'm trying to see you. Cause I know you went by God in there, so like I don't know. I don't see, I don't see that name. I'm about to put rain up in here though, but now nah, let me break something down. Somebody said, do you still think that white people have, uh, don't have souls? No, okay, no, I definitely don't think that. So like, let me break this down, right? Let me break this down. I love all people. Like it's not like a, and I'm, I'm gonna really break down the science to this, right? Cause I've been through all the rabbit holes. There be some people trying to come to me, talk about that old mindset to me, like, oh, bro, they not natural and all that, bro. That's bullshit. First of all, what you gotta understand is a white person is still a melanated person. They just have animal DNA. At the end of the day, you can't get a Caucasian. You can't get a white person without a melanated person. You feel what I'm saying? So what you gotta understand here, here what you gotta understand is anything that is breathing has consciousness, regardless of the case may be. It's consciousness within inside of that vessel. Now, is that consciousness probably, you know what I'm saying? Not even a little different. It's all the same. We're all one. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like you got to understand that there's different variations of one, right? It's different variations of it. So just like how it's different variations of snakes, different breeds of bears and things like that, it's different breeds of humans as well, too, right? So that's what you got to realize. Like consciousness comes in all different shapes and forms. At the end of the day, we all consciousness because if you wasn't part of consciousness, then you wouldn't be here right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you literally wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be able to survive. You wouldn't be able to breathe. That just is what it is. You feel me? But yeah. And that's coming from somebody that had broke it down. Now, look, the DNA and all that is still real. That's still valid. But that don't mean that somebody is not a real person. Bro, that's just how his body is made up. At the end of the day, he's still consciousness just like you. You feel what I'm saying? You, because you are melanated, might have an easier time tapping into consciousness. Oh, but don't think that man can't tap into consciousness. Like, don't think that man can't do the same things you can do. You might can do it faster than that man, right? If you eat the right foods and things like that, if you're put in the right environment. But if you're put in a horrible environment, if you're not taking care of yourself, oh, that man will for sure for surpass you for sure, for sure, right? Simple as that. Like, my business partner, my business partner that I started my health supplements with is a Caucasian. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man, Chris. He Caucasian. He white and everything. He probably on here right now. Shout out to him. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't... 
Like, I don't know. That's just weird, man. Like, it's 2024, bro. It's like, let's get straight to business, bro. You feel me? Like, if you a, if you a real individual, like, yo, you a real individual. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mess with you. I fuck with you for sure, for sure. You a real individual. Like, back then, bro, I was 17 when I made videos like that. You know what I'm saying? And it was coming out of, like, a, a hurt place. You feel me? I was just very hurt about certain things. You feel me? I felt my, like my people were slaves. But it's like, that's what they want you to think. They want you to think as a melanated person that you a slave. And they want you to have this bullshit-ass victim mentality. Motherfucker, we ain't victims. That's what y'all niggas need to realize. Y'all need to get out that fucking victim mentality and stop trying to blame people aka other white people that just came out the womb with you what the fuck do i look like saying fuck a oh hey hey fuck you because you white and this dude born in 2002 just like me we both came out the womb we don't know what the fuck going on i'm automatically saying fuck him that's what they want you to do understand that shit they want you to do that bro i'm not about to play into what they want me to do nah i'm gonna do what the fuck i want to do at all times see what they don't want is what they don't want this is what they don't want they don't want motherfuckers to stop thinking about race and start thinking about energy. That's what they don't want a motherfucker to do. Like, they don't want somebody to start thinking, yo, hey, this white person that grew up in the same shitty neighborhood as me is not my enemy. Actually, I can work with him and I can get money with him. I can actually put this energy to use. They don't want people to start thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? They don't want people to start actually collabing with that. You know what I'm saying? Once we actually start collabing and we actually see like, oh, matter of fact, you're not the enemy that dude that we never see is the enemy. Now it's over with. You feel what I'm saying? But that's a whole different conversation. That's a whole different conversation. We could get into it though. We could really get into it. I'm, I, we could really, we could really chop it up though. We could really chop it up for sure, for sure. All right, you said you back in. I'm about to put, I'm about to put you back in, bro. Yeah, cause I, I wasn't even waiting on you, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But I, I was just, I was just talking right now. But what's your name, bro? I see you, bro. But like, I don't, I don't see you. Where, what's your name, bro? I don't see you. I don't see you, bro. I don't see your name. I I'm not even Kevin. I don't see your name. I'm about to put in rain, bro. I'm about to put in rain. Yo. What up? Hey, my boy. Hey, boy. hey. Listen real quick. I gotta let you know. I've been watching you since the quarantine days, back in the beginning with the no fab shit, and yeah, you definitely pioneers on this. You know, raising the vibration and consciousness of the people on the. On the internet, man, I gotta show you the respect straight up. You one of the reasons I started my own YouTube channel. So, man, I appreciate that, bro. What's your YouTube channel, man? Shout yourself out. Hey, I appreciate that, fam. It's Rain Cordio. That's R E I G N C O R D I O. I make spiritually inclined content and uh, just overall goal setting and smashing and helping the youth raise the vibration of the consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man? hey, let's go, my boy. Let's go, my boy. That's real, my hey, boy. I got a real question for you, though, Vaughn, because. I was listening to your audiobook earlier today, right? Yeah. I'm in the field. I'm at the gym. And I'm I'm getting into this blissful mindset. I'm like, damn, man, I'm really I really was forgetting how beautiful I was admiring this shit to be when I was a kid and we lose that shit when we start identifying with these problems and traumas that we gain over time. But in trying to attain that love, that blissful state that we knew as a child, are we supposed to just ignore the evil? moving forward or are we supposed to stay prepared for it because you're supposed to love the evil how how do we do that Vaughn? you got to get on that love vibration bro because like in this and this is what you got to understand bro it's going it's going to make a lot of people mad but you got to read let's 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 give an example right let's think about the bible in a sense right because i don't i don't read the bible but i just remember my grandma used to make me always read the bible bro always when i was growing up but you got to read like let's say let's say if somebody read the bible and they're a christian right i'm not telling nobody to go read the bible i'm definitely not reading the bible y'all know if y'all mess with me y'all already know i broke that down right but look at it like this right Let's not always judge everything. Let's not always like talk shit about everything. Let's actually see, okay, what can we actually learn from this, right? Because it's put here for a reason. So you got to, let's say the, the Bible, the Bible, right? You got to read that book like it's talking about you because that's all it's really doing. Like you got to read it like it's not talking about something outside of you. You got to read it as in it's talking about you, right? Like you're the person that is talking about the whole entire time. You're Christ consciousness. You got to have love for all things, bro. All things. That's what being on that love vibration is. I love the wicked, right? I love the successful. I love the good. I love the bad. I love it all, right? Because understand like this, right? Just because I love something does not mean that, understand like this, just because I love something does not mean I have to be attached to something. And I said in the book, 
I love all bears, but I would never go near a bear. If a bear came near me and tried to hurt me, then I'm going to put one in that bear's dome. Simple as that. Just because I love you does not mean I won't kill you. Yeah, I love all pedophiles, but bro, if you come in my section, bro, and I know that you touch kids, bro, I'm sorry, bro. I'm going to send you off to where you need to be so you can go heal. You about to go back to that astral realm. You feel what I'm saying? Because death is not a bad thing. It's not real. See what I'm saying? So it's like, so it's like me, bro. Even when, even when, oh, uh, no, nah, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna say that. But, like, even even a couple years ago, bro, like, that's why, like, certain things happen because I've never viewed death as a bad thing. You see what I'm saying? Like, I never viewed death as a bad thing. I understand it if, like, yo, if I have to shoot you in the head, like, I don't have to be mad to shoot you in the head. I don't have to be mad to get you up out of here. I'm actually saving you by getting you up out of here. If you a pedophile, yo, death is actually saving you. You know what I'm saying? That's actually saving you because you about to actually go feel what you did to them kids when you get to that astral realm. You about to feel your soul all in one. So really, I'm saving you in a sense. You feel what I'm saying? Because here, bro, you already throw, bro. If you if you touching kids and you on a physical reality, oh, you throw, bro. And honestly, it's it's sad. You know why it's sad, bro? Because a pedophile is more is more than likely nine times out of ten, he's only a pedophile because he got touched as a kid. That's what people don't want to talk about, bro. Hurt kids grow up. Exactly. Hurt kids grow up and hurt other kids, bro. It's certain it's, it's it, most pedophiles, bro, they got touched as a kid or they just got judged a lot. They got picked on and shit. And this shit made them weird like that. It made them, you feel me? It made them weird like that. Like, think about R. Kelly for a sense. Bro, R. Kelly, bro, y'all know the R. Kelly story. Yo, he got touched as a kid. And look what he did. You see what I'm saying? So the cycle keeps continuing. So that's why at the end of the day, you got to understand that, like, even bad people, bro, you got to love them because, bro, they just hurt, bro. So that's why when you around, yo, when you around people in your school, when you around your coworkers, when you around anybody, bro, yo, 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 yo. If anybody is trying to throw dirt on your name or they trying to talk trash to you or whatever, don't even give them no attention because it's like, bro, it's like you really hurt for real. Like if somebody right now makes a video about me talking trash about me or whatever, bro, I'm not going to make a video back about, for one, I don't talk about other niggas, okay? But for one, I don't beef with other niggas. That's just gay, for one. Okay, for two, right, I'll work with you before I beef with you. You know what I'm saying? For two, right, it's like, yo, why would I, why would I throw fire? That's why they say don't fight fire with fire. Why would I throw fire back on that person? when he already feels fire within himself right he's already hurt bro think about if a person is going in on me and making a video about me bro and he's so mad think about when he click off that camera bro he gonna still be mad bro he gonna go to sleep probably cry at night bro you don't know what a person going through behind closed doors so why would i even show hate to that person nah bro i love that person i'm gonna show love to that person because what that's what they need so now your perception changes bro you feel me now you become the bigger person right why you think they say you got to be the bigger person because look at it's in the name you got to be the bigger bigger person you throwing hate on a person that threw hate on you bro that don't make you a bigger person bro that actually belittles you because it's like why you why you even why you even stupid down to that person's level bro now you allowing that person to control your emotions and now that person has became your master in life you feel what i'm saying okay. yeah 100 that control that we have to gain over those emotions over time even you say you're not christian and i'm not christian either i didn't grow up in no religious i actually grew up being told god wasn't real but you know mm. my past is uh I've found that, you know, it's all of the heart, the hatred, so is the forgiveness. And you have to choose which one you're going to let take over your heart in order to align with that certain frequency to get that in your life, to manifest it. Because I've noticed that the more love that I look at things with, the more of a loving scope that I look at it with instead of a judgmental one, because it's not my job to judge, it's the creator's job to judge. Uh, that's helped me a lot. But that also arises my question, like, you say letting go of the ego is one of the most important things that we need to talk about as a society today because that's what we all are identifying with. And most of it, most of us has built a really, really unhealthy ego that we are just identifying with past traumas and attachments that we can't get past. But in the inevitability of evil manifesting, just like you said, you love that pedophile, but you're going to have to pop a cap in his dome if you try and fuck with your shit, right? So in that staying prepared stage, we got to set goals and we got to kill them. But that all feeds our ego. Like, if I'm training, fighting to make sure that no man can fuck with me if he really trying to step in, that still is going to be ego feeding. But Thanks. How, how do you reconcile the difference between building that healthy ego to protect your tribe 
versus that ego that's gonna keep you down so first of all this is what we got to break down bro so like when i wrote that book bro keep in mind this was like april 2023 so it was still things that like i needed to realize though you know what i'm saying i might write a, a part two to that book it was a real book definitely but it wasn't the full story <laughs> right but it wasn't you know, it was the it was just the start it wasn't the full story that's what i gotta let y'all know that was just the start of it so what we gotta understand yeah. is like why you in this reality you're gonna have an ego like it just is what it is you're gonna have an ego like even if you have 100 ego deaths guess what after that 100 ego death yo a couple of days later a new ego is going to be birth or in the same moment a new ego is going to be birth because a uh, ego is just identity right it's just the identity that you go by so it's like even so it's like honestly it's just about killing the old unhealthy ego to align the new ego with what you think is pure consciousness in the most efficient way that's really what it's about bro so it's like even right now bro it's like i'm i'm my highest version but my highest version is always expanding so next year bro my highest version is gonna think different my highest version is gonna look at things different he's gonna act different you see what i'm saying because my highest version is always expanding like i don't believe that i'm trying to get to my highest version i'm already my highest version right now i'm already my best self my best self is gonna be better three three months from now six months from now and so on and so forth right so that's what it's about bro so honestly it's like it's just kind of like about this right we got to understand that like everything is entertainment right let's get back to the hamster wheel video because i know somebody called on and they were talking about the hamster wheel video so you got to realize it's like we have egos because bro imagine if we didn't have no egos this shit wouldn't be entertaining everybody on here right now would be looking at me and y'all three 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 i got three 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 viewers on the, uh, on the video right now that's how y'all know i'm speaking facts hey, hey right so look imagine if everybody right now did not have no ego yo what would be the point of watching me <laughs> what, what what would be the point of me even talking to y'all right now i'd be talking to myself you see what i'm saying that's all we want is that affirmation to know that we in the right direction and that's all fed with our ego so exactly so but even that bro even that bro even the right direction all that bro is just entertainment bro it's just entertainment bro i, I did a shroom trip bro and i was with a, a few homies i did a shroom trip this was like november what 2023 this was just recent i did a shroom trip and i got hypnotized on my shroom trip it was like some shit talking to me to the wall like i was like in a whole altar it was like a painted altar it had mansa musu right beside me it was the sun right in front of me i got hypnotized by the sun but that's a whole different conversation right so i'm off the shrooms and shit right boom and one thing that i realized like at the end of my shroom trip is like bro it's just all entertainment bro like honestly bro everything is just everything like it's just like like all this like because you gotta understand like this batman ain't shit without joker right <laughs> like this is a movie bro this is a movie so it's like you gotta have an enemy you know what i'm saying and the enemy doesn't have to be a physical entity your enemy could be literally like your old self it could literally be your be lower your self. yeah it could be it could be your lower self you see what i'm saying but it's like but it's like you gotta love that enemy though like you can't be batman hating the joker you gotta love the joker because the joker is what the fuck makes you batman you see what i'm saying so i love that pedophile but I know that that pedophile stands for something that I'm not with. But I love that, though, because without that pedophile, without these negative ass people out here, without these people out here doing stupid shit, I wouldn't have a purpose here, bro. Like, imagine if the world was perfect. Imagine if, the, if Batman's world were perfect. There was no crime. He wouldn't even be fucking Batman, bro. He would just be fucking Bruce Wayne, the rich motherfucker. And that was it. He would get bored of his fucking life and he wouldn't even have a damn purpose. And then because he ain't even got a purpose, Bruce Wayne would probably indulge in drugs, trying to spice up his life because he would have to get his adrenaline and his dopamine from something else outside of his purpose right so you got to understand that you're gonna get your right now i'm getting adrenaline and dopamine from doing this shit i feel like i'm changing the world doing this shit imagine if i didn't even have to change imagine if i wasn't changing the world i'll be getting my dopamine and adrenaline from something else probably something negative right so that's just how it is um that's just how it is bro simple as that and then what you got to understand is everything is polarity bro there will never be a point in time in the world where everything is positive that's impossible right right now bro it could be a hundred million people on this live it could be a billion people on this live right now i'm telling you right now only about a million nah nah i'll say only about 50 million of those people are actually going to change their life and become positive people the rest 950 million of those people are not going to change their life they're going to hear what i'm saying they might agree they might not i'm gonna definitely have a hundred million of those billion people definitely not even liking me definitely hating me like what the fuck is he talking about he's stupid as fuck whoop, whoop, whoop. those are the people that have to stay on the other side it just is what it is we gotta still love them too you feel me at the end of the day just make sure that you ain't one of the motherfuckers on the other side hey hey <laughs>
Just make sure you ain't on that side. You feel me? Because we on the side that go in the garden to eat. That's where we at. You feel me? We good. If we on this side, we good. Everybody else, oh, they, they it's over for them. I ain't gonna lie. It's over for them. Because and I say it's over for them because they just finna feel fire. You know what I'm saying? Like people think heaven and hell is the actual place. Nah, bro, heaven and hell is just you. You know what I'm saying? It's a mental state, it's a vibrational state. You feel me? I gotta tell you, bro, it's admirable to see how far you've come. Like, I'm 17 now, but the yeah. fact that you able to rip off answers to those questions and have certainty behind what you're saying, like, still keeping the conviction behind, like, what I would deem to be like, damn, like, that's a topic I'm gonna have to dance around for a minute. I really, I really admire that question. Have you read The Kabbalion by The Three Initiates? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I read the audio book, bro. I didn't finish it though. Honest, and, and you know why? I kind of feel like honestly, I want to go back and finish it, but I feel like I didn't go finish it because it was like I feel like I just knew everything. But at the same time, bro, I didn't listen to audio books, and I feel like I knew everything. And I was like, okay, I still fuck with the information. That book, bro, I ain't gonna lie, Kabbalion was boring to me, bro, because I felt like I was like, bro, I learned all this shit myself. Like I was like, I learned all this shit just off of myself, even before I even took shrooms. And then it was like me taking shrooms too. I'm like, bro, I done learned this shit three times already, sober off of shrooms it's just like now i'm learning this on the book i'm like okay i don't really want to it's not for me you feel what i'm saying it's it's, it's definitely i feel like people should go read it you know what i'm saying but for me nah bro that that wasn't for me for sure we all got our avenues and I'm yeah okay last question for you i got and this one kind of important and giving sauce to the people the only reason i was able to like bro i'm not gonna lie i wrote down a whole page when i see you was doing live callings because i actually had some questions <laughs> hey hey it's real take advantage of it for sure like, yeah for sure we gotta do that but the only reason I was able to exert myself without stuttering and being nervous like I thought I was going to be going in is because of that new self-image I've been creating. Uh, because of all the shit I've been seeing, I'm already the person who's going to be talking to these people and doing these things and uh, receiving, you know, positive feedback from that. Facts, my boy. But I got to ask you, you was in a room with like four other people who deeming themselves spiritual gurus, Gary the Numbers guy, I don't know who the fuck, who the fuck else you met, all these people with all this notoriety and fame coming up. What the fuck did it feel like to be in such a room with not only such like-minded individuals, but knowing that, damn, we all are in a position where people almost put us on a pedestal and we still got to, like, try and operate regularly. Like, th th that's, th I don't know how I even, I I'm even supposed to put that, but, like, that's I'm the mindset I'm trying to put myself in because I know I'm going to be in those similar situations. I really want to know what was able to keep you prepared going in, staying humble while also uh, keeping your conviction and staying him. I'm that nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like, P game, right? P, P game, right? P game, right? Like, I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. And I'm glad you said this. I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek of the seminar. I'm so glad you said this because I'm going to actually break down humbleness in my thing. I feel like when people say be humble, I don't feel like they actually know the definition of that word, right? I feel like when people say be humble, I think they mean, I really don't think they mean say be, I don't really think they mean be humble. I think they mean be respectful, right? Because you can be an arrogant dickhead or you can be an arrogant, respectful person. See me, I'm an arrogant, respectful individual, right? So like this is what we got to understand, right? Nobody doing better than you in life will ever tell you to be humble. If any of y'all on this live right now come to me and y'all in a room with me and if y'all, any of y'all niggas act humble, get the fuck out the room. I don't want y'all around me because I can't get inspiration from humble people. Motherfucker, I want you to flaunt like you the best motherfucker in the world. Simple as that. Because what you got to understand is just because I act like I'm the best motherfucker in the world. See, look, people like, I'm going to give an example of this. People that don't feel like they on my level or negative individuals, they view me saying I'm the best motherfucker in the world. They view it like this. Like I'm stomping on them. People, right, that are positive individuals that view me like, yo, I'm on the come up or they view me like I'm on the same level as them. They don't view it like I'm saying, oh, yeah, I'm better than y'all. They view it like I'm saying, yeah, motherfucker, y'all come with me. That's how I bro. That's that's what you got to understand, bro. It's like when somebody tells you to be humble, I view it as in like, yo. It's like you're a caterpillar in a cocoon and you're telling me to become a be, put myself in a cocoon as well, too. Like I'm a butterfly, motherfucker. I'm about to spread my wings. I'm not about to be humble for nobody. Being humble, literally the definition of being humble means to weaken one. Right. That's what it, that's what it means to weaken oneself. So it's like I don't want nobody on here to be humble. Be respectful. Don't forget where you came from. 
But motherfucker, talk that shit like you made it for sure. Because what you got to understand is that gives people inspiration, bro. Like, yo, like when people act like they really great, that gives people inspiration. I want people to come around me and be able to flex like, yeah, bro, I'm this and that. I'm that nigga. I'm like that. I'm like, hell yeah, you like that, my boy. I'm like that too. Hey, hey, I love that, bro. But see, but see. But see, don't come around me saying, yeah, nigga, I'm like that. I'm better than you. You ain't shit. Oh, nah, bro. You ain't better than me. I respect it, though. But you ain't better than You see what I'm saying? So it's just about, like, that's how I feel, bro. It's like, like, don't be humble, but definitely, you know what I'm saying, pop your shit, but be respectful about it. You feel what I'm saying? When I pop my shit, I do it in the way of I want to give people inspiration. Like, fuck all that. Oh, like, be humble. Like, I'm not going to show my greatness. Oh, fuck all that. If you if you can't handle my greatness, then get the fuck off the live, then. Simple as that. What the fuck? If, if, if motherfuckers can't handle your greatness, then tell them to get the fuck out your life. Once again, nobody doing better than you will ever tell you to do. To, nobody. I mean, nobody doing better than you in life will ever tell you to be humble. And just because somebody got more money than you don't mean they doing better than you in life. I'm trying to tell you this. When somebody, people will only tell you to be humble once they start viewing you like you up here above them. Oh, bro, you need to be. Nobody says be humble like this. Yo, man, you need to start being humble. Nah, that don't even feel right. <laughs> Nobody's looking down on you telling you to be humble. Everybody is looking up saying, yo, bro, you need to be humble, bro. You getting too big, kid. You getting too. Man, shut the fuck up. You need to get big to 82 so you can get the fuck up here with me. What you mean? You feel me? Like, simple as that, bro. So you need to pop your shit, bro. I feel like you're going to die once. And this is one thing about it. I was just telling my girl about this shit, bro. And I was like, yo, no matter what you do, it's not about how much money you made. It's not about even what you did in life. When you on that deathbed, this is a real lesson that I'm giving y'all. When you on that deathbed, you about to take your last breath. The last thing you going to remember is how was you feeling throughout life? That's what you going to remember. How was you feeling? It could have been a dude. He could have lived the same exact life in me. He could have had the same achievements as me, made the same exact money. But when he was making all that money, when he was having that success, when he was living his life, yo, he was insecure. He was trying to be humble because he wasn't trying to offend other people. Like when people be like, when I, I, I like I get it like this. If I understand, if I see that a person is trying to be humble, I automatically know that you care about what other people think. You trying to be humble so you don't offend what other people see of you. Because honestly, bro, don't don't come around me being humble. You're not offending me at all. Nah, bro, I want you to be your greatest self. I want you to be a god. You need to be a god around me. Do not be humble around me. Please don't, because I'm going to tell you to leave. Because that's just too weak for me. I don't want to see that shit. Nah, bro. Like, I don't want a motherfucker coming in here. Like, I give an example, right? If a motherfucker come to me, this is being humble to me. If somebody come to me and be like, yo, bro. Like if, if if I'm talking to my homie and he just got a hundred million views on a video and then I'll be like, yeah, bro, like you just got a hundred million views on a video, bro. Like how you feel? Like he'd be like, I mean, a hundred million views. Cool, bro. Like I ain't, I ain't nothing special. Man, shut the fuck up. What you what? What the fuck? You talking about nigga talking about nigga talking about it's nothing special. I got a, I got a hundred million views on a video though. Man, shut the fuck up. Now you just lying. How is that nothing special? Like, peep game. How you gonna say you ain't a special? First, two things. How you gonna say, one, how you gonna say you ain't a special person? Obviously, a hundred million people thought you was special enough to click on your video and to view you. So, my boy, you gotta be special in some type of way. Number two, right? Yo, everybody on this live is special right now. Like, why aren't you a special person? Why can't you be a special person? What's wrong with being a special person? It's like, yo, you got to understand that what we have is the power of the tongue. So if you speak into existence that I'm not a special person, guess what? You're not going to have a special life. Simple as that. So the reason why that I live the life that I live, bro, and I'm always happy, and I'm always feeling good, even when I'm in my darkness, I'm still happy. I'm still feeling good. I'm still learning every day. It's because of how I view myself in that mirror and what I speak into this existence. Simple as that. You feel me? I know we got off topic, though. You know what I'm saying? But hey, bro, I appreciate you for sure. I got to put somebody else up here, bro. Hey, hey, real quick. You mind if I say something real quick? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Do your thing. You, you not. I, I know. We, I know. You know what you're doing out here, but you really just explain that polarity and how that's gonna drive the attention and how that's really gonna bring people to the word that needs to be brought to. So I really respect that, and I'm really appreciative that you put it in that mindset for me. Uh, last thing I would wanted to say to the chat is, uh, if you devalue yourself to the purity and stop letting these fucking demons take your energy, your sexual energy, you gonna find the person in your life who you're supposed to be with for the rest of it, and. 
Vaughn, you gonna see me again. I'm gonna pop off, and I hope these questions was good enough to the point where you gonna want to talk to me again. Matter of fact, I know they was because I seen the chat pop the fuck off. Facts, like, pop your pop your shit, bro. Pop your. That's what I'm saying, bro. Don't be humble, bro. Like don't don't be trying to close your greatness for other people. Man, let that shit shine, bro. Because once again, bro, like look at like this, bro. You don't want to be on your deathbed. My bad to cut you up, bro. I gotta say this, man. You don't want to be on your deathbed looking back like, man, bro. Like I should have been more confident with talking to people, man. Like, man, like, I, I should have I should have had more fun when I was here, man. Like, I should have did this. I should have, oh, no, 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 no. I was feeling like that nigga the whole time I was here. And I'm going to die feeling like I'm that nigga. For sure, for sure. And then I'm going to go to my next life feeling like I'm that nigga. For sure, for sure. It's never going to change. And then I'm going to get other people, right, other people that went through BS in life just like me, I'm going to get them to realize that they them niggas too and we all going to be them niggas together. For sure, for sure. That's how I was going to go, my boy. Don, remember my name? Rain yeah. fucking cool. Yo, remember this conversation because they was bomb ass questions and you know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look forward to talking with your ass soon. Let's get it, my boy. Hey, hey. Hey. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Hey, man. Y'all gotta get them seminar tickets, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all that seminar, bro. I'm I'm gonna keep it real. If you don't come to that seminar February 23rd in Miami, you missing out. I'm sorry. This is literally this is literally gonna be the seminar way longer. And now y'all in person. Right, I'm gonna literally have my whole monologue on stage. I'm gonna be on there for about 40 minutes to an hour. Then we're gonna do questions at the end, <sighs> bro. Oh my, I'm finna turn up so. Whew, I'm finna turn up so crazy there. Oh, let me get the next, next person on the call. I'm finna turn up so crazy there. I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna turn up so crazy. I hope y'all record it too. It's gonna be a legendary moment for sure. For sure, I'm gonna have somebody recording it anyway, but it's gonna be a legendary moment. Uh, let me see who. I'm gonna put this dude in. Yo. Yo, what's, what's good, yo? What's good, my boy? Hey, what's your name? Where you calling in from? My name is Justice. I'm calling in from San Francisco. Hey, hey. California, man. Yo, yo, this yo. You know, I just wanted to ask you about, like, lately I've been, like, you know, I try to really, I've been, like, in a state of, like, just diving into my unconscious and facing my shadow and, like, seeing the shadows of both and the reflection and blah, blah, blah. How do I trust myself and how do I really dive deep into that, into myself? You know what I mean? Like, I have this weird, like, damn it, I got trust issues. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it reflects and it manifests into my real life, whether it's with my, like, damn near, like, feminine archetype. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, something with my mother, but I don't know. It's yeah. so weird. So, like, bro, this is what I'm going to tell you, bro. So, you said you want to, like, dive deeper in yourself, right? Yeah. Stop, stop being scared to die. Like, honestly, bro, I feel like you like you need to just accept death. Right. Because it's like and the reason why I say you need to accept death is because it's like you're not going to die. Like like people think they're going to deep dive deeper in this. If they're going to get into meditation, they're going to start seeing a whole bunch of dark things. And then there's somehow they're just going to die. Like, no, nah, that's not going to happen. Actually, you're going to make it to the promised land. Right. Because you got to go through the dark tunnel to get to the other side, which is light. Right. Like you thought you thought it was going to be easy getting to the other side. Now, nah, if you want to get to that other side, you're going to have to go through hell first. Right. So that's just how it is, bro. So that's what I got to tell you. You need to accept death to the fullest, because once you stop being scared of death, once you stop fearing that, you're not going to fear nothing. Right. <laughs> you're not going to fear nothing because, you know, every anything that you see, it cannot hurt you. You feel me? So how that feel? I fucking feel you, bro. Like, yeah. That resonated so deeply. Like, you don't even fucking know. Like, I pulled some cars because sometimes I'd be doing tarot. And, like, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't like to be messing with that too much. But I do see reflections in my life. And it is just images. So it talks to the unconscious. And I can see what I see in it. You know what I'm saying? It's my perception of it. So it tells a little something about myself. And that's what it said actually today was that it's time to face my shadow i have to dive into my like my deep feminine my unconscious and then i have to really face it bro facts my boy stop being be scared to the depths i gotta go into the depths of my fucking self facts my boy Damn, stop being yo, scared bro fuck, stop yo, being what scared what bro fuck. what you doing bro i'm gonna be real bro what you doing a lot of people in this world not gonna do bro a lot of people in this world not gonna do bro see it's, it's two types of people in your scenario bro is you that's going to actually go through this and you're going to actually go deep, deep in them depths, bro. And then you're going to actually like push through everything with love and then you're going to become your best version, right? You're going to become your best version. 
It's other people, bro. They're going to allow society to brainwash them. They're going to think what they're seeing is fucking demons, like real life demons. They're going to think what they're seeing is demons, not even knowing that it's just them. They're literally like when you meditate, you just literally is in your body, you in your head. Right. So it's like they don't even realize that they just seeing themselves. Right. And now they got scared and they like, no, nah, this don't feel right. I ain't meditating no more. It's a portal. To, it's a portal to demons. Yo, I'm going back to church every weekend. Yo, hey, fuck that. I'm finna, I'm finna read the Quran. Yo, fuck that, bro. I'm finna get my life right. But the whole time, it's like, bro, it's like you, like whole time, you ain't even realize, bro. You just looking at yourself. That's what's crazy. You really are just looking at yourself in actuality. But you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, man. Like if if somebody feel like they need to, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what it be, bro. It'd be like religion. Just be like a, it'd be a cushion. You know what I'm saying? Like people ain't like this. This I'm gonna break this down, right? I'm gonna break this down, right? I'm gonna break this down, right? People, people ain't got the strength to do this. No chair. People ain't got the strength to just do this. No chair, right? So it's like because they ain't got the strength to do this. No chair, and they bust on their ass every time. Oh, they like oh fuck all that, fuck all that. No, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm gonna get this cushion right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm gonna feel safe again. Whole time they thinking that like if they bust their ass, they gonna die. Bro, you're not going to die. you just going to get back up and try it again. You see what I'm saying? Like every single time. Every single time, man. Yeah, but that's how that go, man. But at the same time, bro, like, and I don't want you to get off this call looking at people that like being religion, like a lower aspect of you or something. Because at the end of the day, bro, they just you as well, too, bro. You feel me? Like, don't judge them. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, for sure. Don't judge them at all. I know all is mental, you know what I mean? So... I do understand that there's just me, bro. You know what I mean? Facts, like, facts. Damn, bro, you, you're so facts, bro. I'm just, facts. I really gotta just fa face it, bro. Hey, facts, bro, face it. I ain't gonna lie, man. If you really bought it, bro, you do it right now. You lead a live right now. You got your game, bro. Do it right now, bro. Go ahead and get into it. I'm telling you right now, you gonna cry and everything, bro. You gonna cry. You no, gonna be bro. releasing a lot. No, bro, why you said that, bro? I already started crying, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, really yeah, shit, bro. Like, yeah, bro. You, know what, bro. you about to have us, yeah, bro. You about to have an awakening for real. You about to have an awakening, bro. I love you, bro. I love you too, my nigga. Let's get it. Hey, hey. Real one, man. Real one. That boy about to have an awakening. Yo, that boy about to, yo. He about to have a whole awakening for sure, for sure. That boy about to go through it. I love it, though, for sure. He about to come out a whole nother person. That shit is beautiful, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you gotta go through that, bro. Because if I ain't go through that shit, bro, hell nah, bro. You gotta go through that shit. That's love right there. That's why I say this journey ain't this journey ain't for people that's not strong, bro. Like you gotta be strong, bro. It's about that mental strength, my boy. For sure, for sure. Um, put somebody else up in here. Let's get it. Yo. Hey, I love doing this. I'm finna I'm finna be doing this every weekend. Why not? <laughs> Yo, what's up, my boy? What up, bro? So, hey, what's your name, bro? Oh, my name's Amir. I'm from Maryland. I guess DMV area too. Hey, hey, yeah, I mess with Maryland too. The DMV, let's get it. All right, yes, sir. But my question is just like, so I, there's a lot of things I want to do in life. One of my one of my main things I want to do in life is I want to be like a novel. You know, like writing novels and stuff, like. I guess fiction books. That, like mm -hmm. I want to be a novel writer because I've always like writing books. Yeah, you are. Uh huh. So sometimes I'm just thinking I'll be visualizing, I'll be trying to manifest it, and then I get thoughts in my head like, "Bro, what makes you think you're deserving of this? Like, what makes you think you can get to that?" Or it's not even just with that too. Like, if I see like it, it, it's I feel like it also comes from a place of like, for example, my parents. My parents. Um, They've always told me that, like, what, I'm, what my plan is, that, you know, it's not going to work. I need to go to college or at least have a backup plan or go to trade school. It's just not going to work like that. Can I, I say something? Can I say something real quick? And then you keep yeah, going? Sure. Yeah, they're saying yeah, that because sure. they're saying that because they're projecting. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to understand like this, right? Yeah. When you tell because people can only view you how they view themselves. Right. That's what you got to understand, bro. It's, it's a dude on here right now, bro. Understand like this. If it's a dude, if a dude watch my video on Seamer Retention, right. And he beats his meat every day. He watches porn all the time. He can't view me how I view myself. So he's going to think, bro, he lying, bro. He don't hold his seed for real. Bro, this nigga lying. He just trying to get views. Bro, he whole time, bro, whole time he be behind the scenes probably beating his meat and everything. Because he can't view, because you got to understand like this. He can only view me 
through his lens of life. He can't believe there's an actual person out here that's actually holding their seed for more than nine months. He can't actually believe that, bro. You see what I'm saying? Because he could never do it himself. So understand like this. Your parents can't believe that you're going to succeed with that because they couldn't see themselves succeeding with that. Nah, you, you can't. Like, understand like this. Replace you with I. It's not, nah, you can't do that. No. I can't do that. You feel what I'm saying? Well, if you tell your mama you want to start a clothing brand and she'd be like, baby, you can't do that. It's nah, baby, I can't do that. I could never do that. So if I can't see myself doing that, then you can't do that. That's why I tell anybody that's trying to start a YouTube channel, I can say, bro, you can blow up with it because I blown up with it. If somebody tells you that you can't blow up with it, did they fucking blow up with it? Okay, then you feel what I'm saying? So it's like people are going to only project to you like people. People are going to give you advice. Like, this is some real shit. People are going to give you advice based on how they view themselves, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So keep going, though. Yeah, right. And I feel like I appreciate that because then I feel like it's also kind of brushed on to other things. Like, I don't know. It's like I've always – I've never really had confidence issues, but, like, sometimes I just get, like, random ways of, like, self down. For example, like, you can even, even be as little as, like, going up to a good-looking girl. Like, sometimes I'll be like, oh, that – like, you know, she look good. But not, like, no muscle stuff. But, like, you know, she look good. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll try you to, ain't gay, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm gonna be like, them. Something in my mind tells me like, bro, what makes you think she? What makes you think she would want to talk to you? Even though I'm, I'm not even an ugly guy. I'm not ugly at all. Um, but like, it'll be like something in my mind be telling me like, yo, what, why, why would she want to talk to you? And then like, you know, it's just like stuff. I feel like I don't know. It's a lot of stuff from maybe my childhood. You know, because yeah, I'm, it I'm seems not, like your parents. It seems like your parents put a lot of insecurities onto you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you grew up with that in childhood, but really your parents were just insecure themselves. This is why I tell people, like, before you have kids, you need to make sure that you heal your childhood trauma before you pass it on to your kids, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like, if you're not confident in life, what you going to think is going to happen when you have a kid in life? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why, like, like personally, like, I'm going I'm to make some kids soon. Hey, hey, I love my baby, right? <laughs> she probably on the line right now. Hey, well, I'm going to make some, I'm gonna make some kids soon, right? But, like, I'm so glad that I ain't have kids, like, three years ago, four years ago. Like, I'm so glad that didn't happen because, for one, like, I still had a lot more to learn in life. You feel me? I still had trauma to heal from in life. You feel what I'm saying? Like, now I feel like I'm at the stage. Like, I don't know if I'm going to have kids soon. I, I got I got more work to do. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I don't, like, I feel like if I really wanted to right now, I'm I'm at the mental capacity and I'm at the love state to where it's like, no, I'm ready to have a kid and turn my kid into a god well not even turn him into a god just keep him a god because you come as a god and then you get turned into a fucking human right so i mean that's how that shit go bro so but keep going now man yeah and i feel like a lot of it comes from a place like because i'm not i'm not gonna come here in front like you know my parents like i love my parents like my parents are in the like uh i mean you know like I love my parents, but, like, I feel like, you know, my, my dad's African, so, I mean, you, you already know how those African parents would be. They hear something. Niggas like, be hating. Not, <laughs> I know. They, they hear something you, you, they're not used to. They're going to be like, what? Like, like I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I recently actually switched to, you know, being vegan. I'm trying to switch to eating, being a more healthy vegan. But, like, my dad, I thought uh, my mom, she's, or she kind of conscious herself, but, like, she's still not really. But, um, you know, my dad was like, oh, like, Oh, why, why you want to be vegan and all that? And like, cause he's not used. To How old are you, bro? I'm. I'm I actually, my birthday's actually tomorrow. I'm 15. I actually had a call with you like in spring. But mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm 16 right now. All right, that's a bet, bro. That's a bet. This is what I'm going to say, bro, and I'm going to get somebody else on the car, bro. Right now, bro, you just need to focus on, like, pouring lo more love into yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because love is the thing that's going to build confidence in yourself. Like, don't, because, like, like, if you don't love yourself, bro, the confidence ain't going to be real. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can flex like you confident for real, but then you can, you're going to be faking it. Like, you're going to get around. Yeah, you can get around. Like, bro, somebody that's flexing their confidence or, like, faking their confidence, they can get around me. And I could just tell, like, bro, you really not even, like, bro, you really insecure. Like, I could see through you because you're going to be doing too much. Like, people that don't love themselves, that try to be confident, they just do too much. Those be the niggas when you get around girls, they want to start clowning you and shit. Like, they just want to start doing too much. And they feel like, oh, if I clown this nigga, if I try to whoop on him and shit, I'm going to look cool or whatever. Like, if, what I'm saying is people that are insecure, that trying to be confident, they're going to develop an inferior, uh, inferior, uh, inferior, uh, inferior, inferiority complex. Y'all chill on me. <laughs> Ah! <laughs>
hey, yeah. no cap. They're going to develop a complex like that, right? Because there's no such thing as a superiority complex, right? It's just a fee. Uh, in free, uh, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Damn. Anyway. But yeah, they just going to develop a bitch ass nigga complex. Fuck it. We going to keep it real. They're going to develop a bitch ass nigga complex and they're going to start treating other people horrible because they feel horrible. And then the cycle just going to continue. You feel what I'm saying? So pour love into yourself, my man, really. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then like, you got to let go of beliefs in, inside your head. Like, how do you want to view yourself now, right? You want to view yourself as an individual that is confident, that loves himself as an individual that doesn't care about what people think as an individual that is a novel writer, right? Like, imagine you, this famous self, this famous novel writer, right? And you're helping a lot of people with your books. Is that novel writer caring about what other people think, bro? Simple, no, right? And I'm going to be real with you, bro. You write books. The household that you grew up in, bro, you need to turn that into a book. No cap, bro. Like, you need to turn... You need, Yeah, go ahead. I'm not, yeah, I mean, to cut you off, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, 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 that's also a thought I've had. I, I was just really thinking and brainstorming. And I was thinking, like, hmm, how can I write a book relating? Because I just write, at the moment, I'm just writing short stories, nothing long. But yeah. I'm thinking, like, what if I wrote a book about someone as a kid whose parents, like, never really supported what they want to do? But then, then they go on and they, like, they, like, defile or, I yeah, defile odds of what their parents told them and they succeed in it so yeah I've, I've been thinking about hey that. you know what a, you know what a hard book title would be my parents were right <laughs> that's a hard my book title right. <laughs> that's a hard ass i'm serious bro that's that should make you a millionaire that's a hard ass book title my parents were right yeah, yeah, that's that's I'm clickbait right. too my parents were right you know how many people are gonna relate to that my parents were right yeah. and then you could open it up and then really they think it's gonna be talking about like that's hard as hell bro my parents were right hey if y'all think that's a hard ass name hey fire in the chat you got to use that name bro my parents were right definitely my parents were right as the book that's hard as hell and then you in the book to break it down how how, like your parents used to treat you how they used to put insecurities on you and shit like that and now how you actually doing your dream and shit how you go yeah that's hard bro that's all you can make it a fiction book like you said you can make it a fiction book and it don't have to actually be about you it could be about somebody else a fiction but oh that's hard you got to do that bro for sure for sure you got to do that my boy you got to do that my my parents are right bro put that in your notes right now you need to do that i'm telling you bro that's gonna make you a millionaire no cap now, i'm fine too good at telling you that's gonna make you a millionaire my parents are right i will read that book that's a hard ass book that's a hard ass book hey bro, hey, bro. This and then when I write this book, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, when I, in my like credits or whatever, or uh, I forgot when the beginning where, where like authors write their inspiration. I'm gonna be like, hey, Vance, okay. Yell me with this book title. That's real, boy. Hey, you got to do that shit, bro. Because this nigga's talking about, hey, someone was still that idea. You need to do that shit right now. You need to do that shit right now, bro. You need to do that shit right now. You need to get off the. You need to get off this shit right now and be working to this shit every day. You need to get the book done by in two months. For sure, for sure. Get it published and everything, bro. Do it by Amazon. Hey, I appreciate you, my boy. Stay great. I appreciate the combo, bro. Have a good one. You already know, my boy. Hey, hey. Hey, real one, real one, real one. <laughs> hey, I had to tell, I had to tell him somebody was about to steal it, <laughs> cause I was like, yeah, we gotta put him to work. I don't want him to get off the call. Like, I, I gotta put some pressure on him now. Like, bro, you gotta hurry up, bro. You gotta hurry up. You gotta go ahead and do this. You feel me? You gotta, you gotta have that pressure on you. You feel me? Cause he, he gonna be like, yeah, I, I'm gonna do that book, and then it's a year later, he don't do it. Nah, bro, get to it right now. Get to it right now, bro. Right now. Uh, let's put this person in, man. Let's go. That's a hard book, though, for sure. That's a hard book. I ain't gonna lie. That's a hard book. That's a hard book, for sure. My parents were right. Bro, that's a hard book. Like, that shit, that shit gonna blow. Like, that's a hard book. That's a hard... I would write that. That's a hard book. I ain't gonna write it, though. Nah, that's lame. That's that's his idea. But that's a hard book, though. My parents were right. That's lit. That's lit, for sure. Yo. Uh, he ain't wanna join, for sure. Oh, no, he is joining. Yo. I don't know what is going. On. Yeah, I'm trying to put you up in here, bro. I don't know. You got McDonald's Wi-Fi. Yeah, he had he had McDonald's Wi-Fi. I don't know. Oh no, you don't. Here he is. Yo. Yo. Yo, say something, bro. Say something. I can't hear you, bro. If you talking, you got to connect your audio. Yeah, connect your audio, bro. Let's get it. What's good, bro? I'm on this bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you good, me? Yo, what's good, bro? All right, say now. So, look, I got two downloads. Quick little downloads, right? Yeah. Boom, the first one is the etheric body found. The etheric body. Bro, I've been crying for like, no, no bullshit. I've been crying for like two nights straight. Yeah. Bro, my meditation extra deep on God. Like, the, bro, my tears be gay. My tears be streaming down their face. I yeah. Was 
I was wondering, I was feeling that shit. I'm like, damn, this shit really crazy, bro. In my meditations, you breathing through my, my stomach. So yeah. Plexus, bro. Tap in to your chakras. Y'all listening? Tap into your chakras, bro. The etheric, the etheric body can only be cleansed when you when you clear the um emotions up out of the soul because emotions clog up the soul and you can't get rid that <laughs> trauma. I'm, I'm, I gotta go outside. Yeah, I gotta go outside. <laughs> he lit. Outside. He lit. I love it. I love it. Hey, I'm going outside. I'm Hey, hey, you came on here to spit, or you you came on here, you got a question? Do I have a question? Yeah. When you doing, when you doing another meet and greet? Another meet. I got a seminar, bro. I got a seminar coming on, bro. So, yeah. Hey, if you want to if you wanna uh get a ticket to my seminar, it's in the link in the description. So, yeah, I got a live seminar coming February 23rd. So, that's what I'm doing all year, bro, uh, live seminars. Really, I ain't going to say all year. I'm going to say, like, <laughs> until I don't want to do it no more. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a long time from now. I see myself doing it next year and the year after that as well, too. You feel me? But, yeah, bro, we on stage with it now. What What is going to be at? February, uh, February 23rd in Miami. It's going to be in Winwood. Winwood by Miami. I'm definitely in Miami with it. All right, that's a bet, bro. Yeah, yeah. Get your ticket, bro. Let's get it. I'm saying, you finna put someone else on? No, 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 bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, somebody said with a similar seminar be live. So look, if you can't make it to Miami, February 23rd, we do got virtual live tickets. We do got virtual live tickets, so you can get a virtual live ticket too, and you can watch it from your crib as well too, or you can pull up. You know what I'm saying? Actually get the real in-person effect as well, too. And if you want to actually get like a more like direct connect, like not even a direct connection because you you there, you're going to have a direct connection with me. But like VIP, if you want to get a part of the VIP, you're going to have a sit down dinner with me. It's kind of like an after party thing. You feel me? And you're going to be around me and all my people, sticks, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have like a whole sit down dinner with us. You know what I'm saying? Chop it up, uh, chop it up with us about anything. Really, this is a for if you're trying to have business. I already got a lot of people that already bought the VIP tickets. So they're getting sold out. I got a lot of people. We can only have 30 people in the VIP tickets. Yo. <laughs> it's almost sold out. So go ahead and get your VIP ticket for show for show. But go ahead. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be there for show. So look. The solar plexus, bro. That shit get clogged with emotions. And you cannot get around the emotions because we have high vibrations, so we absorb in the atmosphere. As soon as you step outside your crib, you absorb because not everybody is on a high vibration. The etheric body is over your physical body, bro. And everybody etheric body is like filled with bullshit basically so you outside and you just scooping up bullshit all day you yeah know? and you scooping up bullshit all day and motherfuckers don't cry so when motherfuckers don't cry now you see niggas crashing out and you see women women acting like niggas niggas acting like hoes my bad for the um my bad for the terminology you feel me god is, is god's and god yeah you know but look right y'all boys make sure bro i ain't gonna lie you look you gotta kind of like force yourself to cry bro but like you, you gotta like, become an alchemist. In tune with yourself and you bet on God. You gotta, God. you gotta. When you cry, think about what you want because the energy. Keep on. Nah, that's real. That's real. You was about to say when you cry, think about what you want. You was going in and out. When you cry, think about what you want. Now nah, that's real. I've meant it. You know what's real about that? You low key put me on to something because I ain't gonna lie. I've manifested a lot of things by crying. Like I've manifested a lot of things by being in a, in a crazy moment. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Anything that I ever thought about when I was crying, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I manifested it for sure, for sure. Like I actually, damn, that's really sad. I ain't gonna lie. Now that's real, that's real. I, I believe it though, cause you you in a high intense energy when you're doing that, you're releasing a lot of energy as well too. So I believe it for sure. This is what I was gonna say though. You were talking about like the solar plexus chakra. People don't understand that's your wealth chakra. That's your wealth chakra, the solar plexus chakra. So I want y'all to listen to 528 hertz every night when y'all go to sleep. That's the shock, that's the that's the frequency hertz that's gonna actually stimulate your solar plexus chakra. That's the hertz that's actually gonna bring wealth into this reality. Like it might be hard for you to have a lot of wealth because or even have you have you might have money problems and financial problems because of what because your solar plexus is out of alignment. And what is the solar plexus also in alignment with? What does that also represent? What is that also you said what? It represents confidence, right? Yeah, it represents confidence. So your solar plexus is also how much it also represents your confidence as well. This is why I said on a couple lives ago, I said, yo, you can only have, I said this on my Tuka Mass University as well too. I've been said this. I said, yo, you can only have wealth if you are confident in life. No person that has financial uh, resources is, is unconfident in what they do. Like at the end of the day, Elon Musk, yo, 
He is confident in Tesla. He is confident in his finances. You feel what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all don't have a lot of, like anybody on here that doesn't have resources or the, the amount of resources that they want to have, you got to look at your confidence. That's why I told y'all, don't be fucking humble, right? Because it's like, if you're being humble, my nigga, you are, you are stopping your greatness. You are literally putting yourself in a cocoon. You need to spread your wings. Yo, you need to spread your wings and actually be your true highest version, your true confident self, so you can attract more wealth to you. And you can use this wealth to help more people in the world. You got to understand like, that money is a tool money is not the root of all evil that's what fucking broke ignorant people say right people understand like this the root of all evil is ignorance right because money is a tool if you give money to me if you have two people right here me and you have an ignorant person right here if you give money to this ignorant person and you give the same amount of money to me my amount of money is going to get used for the betterment of this world his amount of money because he is ignorant He's ignorant. He's unknowing because ignorant doesn't mean dumb. Ignorant means you lack knowledge of something, right? That's all ignorance is. Because he is ignorant of himself. He is ignorant of the world. He is ignorant on what he needs to actually do this what what he actually needs to do with this money. He's gonna go use his money for pleasure. He's gonna probably go to the strip club, throw this shit on a whole bunch of strippers that don't even give a fuck about him. He's gonna go out and buy bottles. He's gonna go out and buy hella jury, right? Jury's not a bad thing, but you ain't even gonna go buy no land. Like, you ain't even gonna put this shit into no business. You're gonna automatically try to look like you flossing and all type of shit because you got a whole bunch of money. Feel what I'm saying? It's like he's gonna use the money for the wrong things, and the people gonna start viewing it like, oh, yeah, this is why money is the root of all evil. That's why, no, no, that nigga's the root of all evil because he's ignorant. Y'all not looking at what I'm doing with my money, though. You see what I'm saying? You got to look at, you got to be the person that's not ignorant and actually use your money as a tool to help other people, to help the world as a better place. Now, for first and foremost, before you help the world, you got to help your family. Okay, that's first and foremost. But then you help the world as well, too, right? But go ahead, bro. What else you got to say? Yeah, I like what you were saying about the solar plexus, bro, because it's about currency, bro. That's why, like, a main thing I preach, bro, this like, the second little topic, like, the elements, bro, tap into the elements. The elements will bring you currency, but the elements don't, the elements, your ancestors speak through the elements, bro. Like, I really can't, like, I can't explain it to you. You got to be in that shit. You got to see, put your feet in the water. You got to go outside. You got to connect with the wind. You got to put your feet in the grass. You got to sun. Get game. back grounded. Get back grounded, my man. A lot of people stuck at a lot of people be sun gaze only sunrise and sunset. My sun gaze at 12 p.m., bro. Like, like, yeah. no, bro. Like, look up, bro. Straight into the biz. Like, I don't get no fucks, bro. Because, like, I'm really, like, you feel me? Your eyes, bro. Like, you receive it through your eyes, bro. Your skin. You need to. I, I really embrace the sun for our people because they don't even know. The sun is life. We're speaking about solar plexus and currency. Bro, the sun. The sun is the biggest source of currency and, and strength of your solar plexus. It will strengthen everything. It will give you that confidence. It it's the only currency. We we ain't even alive without the sun. I cried in the sun before, bro. Yo, facts, bro. We, hey, we ain't even alive without the sun, bro. Yo, facts. We are the sun. Hey, bro. Hey, that's real. Hey, hey, bro. I'm about to get somebody else in here, bro. You came and spit that real shit, bro. I say nothing, fam. You already know, bro. Stay great. Let's get it. Hey, hey. Real one. All right, Bill, let me get uh man, he been waiting for a minute. I gotta get I gotta get bro in here. Yo. Oh dang, I tried to put him in here and put somebody else up here. Oh no, I say he's still joining. All right. Yo. What up, bro? Yo. Yeah, he can enter the audio. Let's get it. Yo. Dang, my boy. Man, you still can enter the audio. I ain't gonna lie, my boy. He got that McDonald's Wi Fi. That's all good. <laughs> Yo, now nah, he about to be on here. Oh man, oh man. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh man, it's all good, man. Dang, man. That's why I'm about to move out this apartment. I swear to God, yo, I was about to get up so quick, bro. I thought somebody was in my crib. 
That's the nigga upstairs, bro. I'm out of. I can't do apartments no more. I'm done with apartments. I was born in an apartment. I'm done with apartments. I'm done with apartments. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, y'all asked me to get up so fast, bro. I swear to God, I thought a nigga was in my. I thought a nigga was in my living room. I was like, yo. <laughs> but I was like, no, nah, I'm tripping. It's, he upstairs. I'm tripping. <laughs> I've been turning this live off so fast, bro. Oh my gosh. I was finna be like, hey, I don't know why you, hey, hey, y'all ever, y'all ever, hey, he about to connect to the audio, hey, y'all ever been, y'all ever heard a noise in y'all house? I done heard noises in my, hey, what up, bro, hold on real quick, hey, I done heard noises in my house before, I promise you, I done said, hey, bro, hey, if you in here, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I got that thing on me, bro, you gonna die, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know, you might as well walk out right now, I swear to God, I swear to God, I done did that, I done did that a little times, I think it's somebody in my house, I'll be like, hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, you might as well come out right now, bro, I'm gonna kill you, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I got it on me right now i ain't even got it hey hey it's not even on me or anything i'm like hey, i got that bitch on me right now bro you gonna die you might as well go ahead and walk out old song talking to myself that shit crazy what up my boy yo i'm chilling bro how you doing yeah i'm doing good bro you got a question for me i got a couple questions so actually i'm trying to get that vip ticket to your event but for me to buy the flights to miami i want to know what time it starts and what time it ends so i can like plan accordingly Okay, cool. So, like, this is what the time is for right now, bro. The time, I definitely want you to pop up around 11 a.m. Right now, we're looking at a time from, like, 12 to p.m. 12 p.m. to, I'm going to say 8 p.m., but it might go to 10 p.m. You feel what I'm saying? It might go to 10 p.m., right? But, like, honestly, what was, what was your plan with the flights is what I'm trying to see. I was trying to come in the day before and the day after, but if you said VIP is, like, uh, it's going to be the same day. VIP is going to be the same day for sure, my boy. So, like, this is what I need you to do, bro. What you should do is you should get your flight to come on the 22nd. You want to go ahead and already be there a day before, and then you want to leave the 24th. Like, I ain't going to lie, bro. You in Miami, you do what you do. If it was me, i probably stay. Like, I'm in Miami, bro. I probably, I'm probably i staying for a week. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to shoot some music videos while I'm there, too. So, like, you should. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said, huh? Uh, that's a bet, bro. Yeah, we could definitely talk about that, bro. Hell yeah, because yeah, if you're gonna be at the uh the seminar, bro, we can definitely talk about that, bro. Because you're gonna be face to face with me, bro. Hey, that's a bet, bro. Yeah, let's get it. So like, that's what I say, bro. I think you need to come, like, come February twenty second, and then like the the earliest you leave is like February twenty fourth. If I was you, I'd probably stay this February twenty fifth, because you don't know what could happen, bro. You don't know what could happen. Like, this is like, how old are you? Okay, so, bro, this one, yeah, this is good, bro. So, like, what you got to understand is, bro, you don't want, that's why I said I'm coming to Miami for a week. Because, like, I could have been like, yo, I'm going to be there from, like, the 21st to, like, the 25th. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you might get some moves after that, bro. Like, you don't know who you're going to meet at that event, bro. Like, I ain't selling you to stay for a week, but it's like, you never know who you're going to meet. Like, you might meet somebody important at the event. Like, you might meet somebody that's not even me, bro, that might, you can do some business with. And now it's like, dang, you finna leave, like, the next day. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, you want to stay for, like, a little couple extra days. So, I would say, leave, like, around maybe the 25th or the 26th. You know what I'm saying? You can leave the 24th if you want to. You feel me? But that's just me, though. Like how you're saying the thing is i've been in dr for a little while i've been on like my training arc and shit Put them yeah fire. but my whole family in new york and they miss me so i know they're gonna be tight if i leave the country and i don't stop by there but i gotta be back before a certain time to like continue training and shit so that's a bit i understand that but yeah uh, i got another question my mom has this disease it's called um Ulcer, 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 it's like ulcers in her colon. And oh, so it's something she, dealing with the colon. I know it's just acid, but the doctors be telling her she can't eat no fruits or vegetables. And I'm like, bro, that's, that's stupid, stupid as hell. No, no. And how long they been telling her this? Bro, they've been telling her that shit since like before I've been born. That's why this shit don't go away. They how old are you? You're 19? Yeah. So so the doctors have been telling your mama for 19 years that she don't need to eat no fruit or veggies. And for 19 years, she has still had that motherfucking colon disease. Yeah, yeah. But, but, niggas, know, but niggas say I'm crazy. But niggas say I'm crazy when I say take this herb that is going to cleanse your colon. And it actually cleanses people's colon. But you will go to your doctor and you will have a disease for, for 19, 20 years. Like... Basically, I know that if she listen to me, bro, she be straight. I ain't gonna lie, my boy. I ain't gonna lie, my boy. 
at the same time, it's like if, if she if she don't want to heal herself, bro, it's like you can't get her to do nothing. The best way you could do is break it down. I'm not going to lie, bro. She got an illness with her colon. My two-cut detox would be the perfect thing for her. And the reason why I say that, bro, is because it contains an herb called Cascara Sagrada, right? Cascara Sagrada is literally going to cleanse her colon. Like, it's literally, she's literally going to be shitting out bricks. Like, I'm going to keep it as raw as possible. She's going to literally be, like, yo, on the toilet, like, getting everything out of her body. Literally, it's going to get everything out of her body, the mucus, the acidity that's trapped in the colon like she's gonna lose a lot of weight like a lot of bad weight she's not gonna lose good weight all the bad weight she's gonna lose all that and that colon disease if she was taking my two cut detox for two months i guarantee you it's gonna be gone for sure for probably not even within two months i say either within two months or before two months for sure for sure bro like with people you gotta understand bro it's so easy to heal your body i love when people come to me with people like when people join my coaching program like i love when people come to me like yeah von i got this disease or yeah von i got this oh i love that like i don't love that you had that disease i love it because it's like oh that's easy like a disease like oh so yo you just eat fucked up food for sure like it's simple as that like 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 if somebody come to me like yeah man like i'm trying to tap in with my higher chakras or yeah man like i'm trying to i'm trying to do this i'm trying to it's like it's like okay Yo, body though, like yo, like you got a disease. That's like the easiest thing in this world to solve because it's a direct correlation to what you put inside your body. Anybody that ever told me they got a disease, yo, it was it was literally only because of what they was putting inside your body. Like I'm gonna be real, bro. So does your mama eat healthy? Bro, they literally tell her she can only eat meat. Like I'm trying to tell you, bro. Yo, I'm still here, bro. <laughs> I just can't I just can't believe that doctors still got a job. I can't believe like I'm gonna keep it real, bro. And I broke this down on my two come university. I believe in going to doctors if you have broken something. If you broke your arm, if you broke your nose, if I got a broken arm, bro, I'm going to the doctors for sure. Like if you got anything that's broken on your body, for sure, go to a doctor. Nigga, if you got a cold. Bro, you bet, bro. What, bro? You better, you better stir that tea, that herb tea up, and shut the fuck up. What? If you got anything dealing with your colon, you better throw out all the processed food, all the uric acid, all the bullshit acid, acidity, acidity food, and you better eat healthier. You know what I'm saying? Like anything that's dealing with an illness, yo, you can heal that yourself. Now, if you got a broken bone, anything like that that requires surgery, no, you need to actually go get rid like you need to go to the doctors for sure for sure so i feel like doctors are good for that definitely but when it comes to just like illnesses that's internally in your body you ain't broke nothing oh nah bro you tweaking nah tweaking for sure what about my eyesight like my eyesight been blurry as hell since i was little and i heard yaki awakening talk about talking about how like that's just mucus in the fucking eyes and shit but i want to know how i could like cleanse my eyes for sure, bro. So it's like it's it's because it's not it's not exactly mucus. It's just because the nerves that because your brain the only reason why you can even see, bro, is because you have nerves that are connected to your eyes. The nerves that are connected to your eyes are damaged, right? So that's a direct correlation to your brain. So that's showing you that you have a direct that you have a brain issue, right? Like you you're not you're not receiving enough nutrients to your brain. So I would say definitely start taking Jamaican sarsaparilla root for sure for sure. Um, I would recommend you to take skull cap as well too, bro. Definitely, you could take skull cap as well too. What's another herb? I'm about to go to my two cut. I'm about to go to my two cut uh, university, hon. I got another herb for you. I got another herb for you. I got like all this my two cut university. Hold on. But look, you gotta understand, man. Like, look, I'm a I'm a walking book, but yo, one thing be coming out the other. Yo, um, yo, I put that's why I put it all in my um all in my university. I do all the research and I put it there. So whenever I need to look at back at it, hey, I'm gonna go right here. <laughs> that's my Google right there, the Two Cut University. Hey, if you're in the Two Cut University, you already know that's the real Google right there. Hey, yeah, that's a bet. Let's get it. 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 Ocean and shit. So I'm like, bro, I don't need no one to like tell me what to do. I already had like ask God. Yeah. Nah, that's how I be, bro. That's how I be. Nah, I'm going to be real, though. I'm going to be real, bro. I'm going to break this down. I'm going to break this down for you, bro. Like, don't look at, like, coaching, like, don't look at coaching, like, oh, is somebody telling you what to do? Because, bro, like, bro, I would pay for coaching, bro. Like, there's nothing wrong with paying for coaching, bro. Like, you got to look at it like this. If you go in life by yourself, bro, you're going to go up like this. Like, you're going to go up, do your thing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be doing your thing. If you pay for a coach that can help you with something in life, whether that, like, if you pay for a coach that can help you with whatever you're going through in life, your life now is going to look like this. 
Like, you're going to get to where you want to go way faster compared to if you didn't pay that coach. You see what I'm saying? So even right now, bro, like, I would definitely pay for a coach. Definitely. Like, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Just because you're in a higher position or you know yourself or you good at something doesn't mean that you can't be better at it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I got you, bro. Facts. You're right. That's a bet, my boy. I'm, I'm going to have to tap into that, too, bro. You're right, you're right. Yeah, get them herbs that I told you, though, bro. Them definitely going to help you for sure, for sure. Hey, bro, I'm about to get somebody else in here. Stay great, my boy. Hey, hey. Let's get it. Real one, real one. All right, boom. What time is it? What time is it? 11.29. Hey, man, I'm going to stay on. 12 is crazy, bro. I got to work out tomorrow. 12 is crazy. 12 is crazy. I got to work out tomorrow, bro. 12 is crazy. And I got to call my baby up. Ugh. I gotta call my baby up. It's all good. I'ma keep going. Let's get it. Let's get it. Put bro in here real quick. I need to start going live, uh, live earlier. I need to start going live like 8 p.m. Eastern time or something. That's what it is. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? What up, my boy? Yup. What's your name, bro? Hello. Hi, hi. Hi, my name is Aus. Uh, I'm from Qatar. That's a bet. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yes, man. It's, it's very, very nice talking to you. Appreciate you, my boy. Uh, okay, so, yeah, yeah, so I know, like, the guy that uh, talked about the book thing. Yeah. The one that, uh, yeah, yeah, so, you know, so there's somebody in a comment that said, like, oh, like, I'm going to see your idea. I mean, I know they're joking, but I think it's, like, a good lesson for everyone here, like, that being competitive in a good way is very, very healthy, I believe. Like, because, you know, like, if you don't do it now, somebody else will do it instead Facts, 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 though, facts. Yeah. If you don't do it, somebody going to yeah, do it so for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, man, I'm, I'm go I have some questions I want to ask you. Bet, put me on, bro. Yeah, bro. So, uh, no, my questions are, like, maybe different than others. Uh, I want to ask about relationships. For sure, so, bro, for sure, bro. Damn. Yeah, so, I, I wish my baby was here. She about to, I'm about to see her in, like, 10 days. Go ahead, though. <laughs> okay. So, uh, in relationship, like, do you think that love is the most important element or would you think, like, uh, communication or respect is more important than love? First of all, bro, I feel like, bro, if you don't love the person, there ain't no point of being with the person. At that point, that ain't that ain't a relationship. That's just the, that's, like, even with business relationship, bro, I got to have some type of love for the person to even be doing business with the person in a sense. You feel what I'm saying? Of course, we keep it business, but, like, yo, like, I still got some type of appreciation for the person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I treat my business like a family. Like, if anybody has supported my business, I should, I, 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 pre I, su I treat them like a family. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, what you got to understand is, like, like, and I know I'm getting off topic, but, like, if you start a business, you ain't shit without your customers. Like, you ain't shit without your customers. That's your family, bro, for sure, for sure. So it's like, you got to respect your customers, bro. That's number one. Like, that's why when, every, when anybody buys any of my supplements, let's say they say something like, yo, bro, like, it didn't come, or like, yo, but they got to show that it actually didn't come like they got to show proof or like they be like yo because i don't deal with that broke shit or they gotta be like yo bro the bottle broke or something or like this happened or yo bro they sent me the wrong one yo bro we sent another one out to him you know what i'm saying like like straight up like that we sent another one out to him like it just is what it is bro you feel me like it's all about uh treating the customer with respect it's all about because you got to respect the customer bro that's your family you feel me but um this is what i'm gonna say bro when it comes to love is like love is not like a love is everything bro like love is it like if i didn't have a love bro i wouldn't even be doing this right now bro because it's like you got to have love to even do what i'm doing right now bro honestly you feel what i'm saying like you got to have love to be doing it like even if i wasn't getting paid bro even if nobody sent me a super chat bro i'll still be doing it bro on super on, on my super chat i ain't even make ten dollars on this bro like i don't really care about this bro it's not really about for the money bro it's really just i treat it as entertainment and i like doing this bro like i already view myself like i'm already the wealthiest man in the world you feel what i'm saying i am the wealthiest man in the world so it's like at the wealthiest man in the world yeah man like bro i'm about to i'm about to share this wealth and share this with knowledge with people you feel what i'm saying like what's the point of having all this wealth what's the point of me being my highest version if i'm not going to share my highest version with other people stop playing nigga like like how like why would i why would i be my highest version if i'm not going to show other people my highest version if i'm not going to share this like if i'm not going to share the gifts that my highest version has you see what i'm saying it's no point of me even being alive so why not do this damn live you feel me hey, hey right but yeah yeah that's what i gotta say about that bro so like yeah of course love is like definitely needed in a relationship for sure for sure it's the basis of the relationship it is a relationship mm -mm -mm. that's right that's right okay i, mean, I want to ask you uh, about like you talk about the, the herb things and you know you like it when somebody has a disease so like you, i mean of course you don't like that they have the disease yeah you like the fact that they're asking you 
Yeah. yeah like you know like this uh, some fatal disease like you know like cancer and, like do you think they got the herbs for it like these like kind of diseases like i think yeah like all, all of like all of them are very like fatal and, do you have like, cancer do you i don't know I don't, I don't have but like i just want to know like there are like, herbs for it like yes bro like, yes bro so like you so what you gotta understand is bro you have to understand like what is cancer, right? Let's actually break this down. You know what I'm saying? And I need y'all to screen record this just in case they take this shit down. So like, I we need to understand like what is cancer. People think you solve cancer with a pill. You solve cancer with this and that, bro. Bro, what is cancer? Cancer is literally the overproduction of cells within a certain part of the body. Let's say if somebody has lung cancer, right? Let's use the basic most can the the basic the most basic cancer, right? Lung cancer because people are smoking cigarettes. People that smoke cigarettes that develop lung cancer, they develop lung cancer because they have an overproduction of cells within their lungs, right? So why do they have an overproduction of cells within the lungs? Because any any doctor or chemotherapist will tell you, oh, it's a lot of activity going on right here. All the cells are reproducing so quickly right here. So guess what we're going to do? We're just going to burn everything through chemotherapy, right? But why are the cells over overproducing like that? The cells are overproducing because you have to look at your body like a machine. It's a unit. The cells in the body are like, yo, the cells in the lungs are dying. Why are the cells in the lungs dying? Because you keep smoking cigarettes. So the cells in the lungs are saying, yo, yo, we dying over here. We need more help. We need more help. So now the good cells is going to the lungs, trying to fight the bad cells, trying to fight the fucking fucked up cells and trying to repair itself, right? But you keep smoking cigarettes, killing your lungs, and now you killing the good good sales as well so then you go to the doctors and you go to the doctors and to the chemotherapist and then they see all the activity on the x-ray and they like yeah man it's a lot of activity going on here right here in the lungs so guess what we're gonna do we're gonna perform chemotherapy and if that doesn't work fuck it we're just gonna cut out one of the goddamn lungs right we're just gonna cut the cancer cells out of here right but they don't understand that it's not they're not only cutting out and burning they're not only burning the the good that the bad cells the cancer cells they're burning the good cells as well too so cancer is literally just your body trying to heal itself because you keep killing this shit you see what i'm saying so that is what cancer is bro and it's also an overproduction of uh overproduction of acidity in the body as well too that's what a tumor is right People develop tumors because they eat a lot of acidic food, right? They eat a lot of foods that produce acidity in the body. So now because they're eating foods that produce a lot of acidity in the body, this, this, uh, this, uh, your body has to form a storage unit, which is called what? A tumor, right? So it puts all this mucus, all this fucking acidity in this tumor, right? A AKA this storage unit, which is called a tumor. So that's how it goes, bro. So it's like, how do you solve that? You solve it by fasting, right hitting water fasts right you have to abstain from eating food because when you abstain from eating food now your body starts to heal itself naturally right you do this also by taking different herbs if you have lung cancer right you should take mullein leaf you should drink be drinking mullein leaf tea you should be taking dandelite root tea what you want to do right now is you want to cleanse the lymphatic system aka the lymphatic system aka the immune system right you want to cleanse your whole entire body so if somebody was to get my two cut detox if somebody had cancer literally my two cut detox helps you with cancer because what is cancer it's not some fucking crazy disease that nobody knows that the fucking bro the cure the cure to cancer is oxygen Right. Like that's the cure to cancer. It's fucking oxygen, not oxygen as in, OK, I'm going to just breathe. And now I'm not going to have cancer no more. No, it's oxygen because you got to understand whatever you eat, you need to view food as in, yo, this is either carbon dioxide or this is oxygen. This is either alkaline or this is acidity. Right. So if I eat these foods, a.k.a. soda, a.k.a. acidic food, bread, rice, all this other bullshit, meat. If I eat this, put this inside my body, I'm putting more acidity, a.k.a. carbon dioxide within my body. Because the fucking goat that I just ate just now, the shit is not breathing while I'm eating it. So it has no oxygen. The shit is just carbon dioxide, right? But these plants, these fruits, these herbs, these vegetables that I eat, these contain oxygen where? In their cell walls. So this is why, right? That's why I didn't understand why the lab dude came on here and the doctor was like, yeah, don't eat uh, fruits and veggies because that's not going to do nothing for your colon well obviously eating meat for the last 19 years didn't do nothing because she still got it you feel what i'm saying so that's just how that goes bro it's just like what you got to understand you once you start that's why when people like it's crazy man because it's like i feel like health is like the basic necessity of life it's like you don't know how to take care of your health 
what what's the point of having a lot of money you don't even know how to take care of your health it's like that's i feel like that's common sense people like to praise dr sabi bro what he was saying was common sense like bro that's basic necessity i feel like everybody need to have basic knowledge of healing your body bro like it's literally your vessel bro like it's literally you you know how to take care of your house but you don't know how to take care of your body you know how to clean your house but you don't know how to clean your body that don't make sense you know how to clean your nice car you know how to clean your nice shoes but you don't know how to clean the one thing that you live in you don't live in a car you don't live in a house you don't live nowhere else but your body and you don't know how to cleanse that you see what i'm saying so it's just simple as that bro so that's what cancer is bro it's an over reduction in the sales of the body because your cells are dying you feel what i'm saying so you need to stop doing whatever you're doing to have your cells dying if somebody has colon cancer it's because you're eating foods that are killing the cells within your colon simple as that right yeah my man so yeah so can cancer is a simple fix i just pig gang i just gave everybody the cure to cancer i literally just gave everybody the cure of cancer you just need to hit a water fast and stop eating bullshit food you said what uh, you, you better like, did this video before the, you know, like you get canceled or something, you know, because each, every time somebody find a cure, like you always get canceled. Yeah, bro, and then and then what's crazy is what's crazy is like people think like people be saying stupid shit like like people be saying ignorant shit like oh well cancer runs in my family or diabetes running my family nah bro unhealthy eating runs in your family that's what runs in your family bro you feel me it's unhealthy eating the day that everybody realizes that illnesses come from the food that you eat bro it's over with <laughs> it's over with i ain't gonna lie the day everybody realizes that the thing that is killing me is all this processed food on this shelf right here it's that's because you got to understand like this bro if i can control a man's mind i don't have to control what his body does right like you gotta understand like this your enemy doesn't have to actually come up to you with a gun and kill you nah bro here you go <laughs> that's how your enemy coming up to you here you go bro eat this eat this good food eat this soul food soul food nigga what soul food so 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 eat mac and cheese which is just fucking processed fucking puke muck and, what i don't even know what that is processed mucus that's what cheese is processed mucus processed puss okay eat a chicken wing that's just uric acid the worst type of acid for your body for sure eat green beans them, you're even green beans ain't good for you you know you in a crazy world when green beans ain't even good for you like eat mashed potatoes which is just starch right so it's just like motherfuckers talking about eat soul food eat this type of food and then you see all the people that's eating these food they be fat motherfuckers and these motherfuckers die at 50 60 years old and i'm talking about my people my people the ones that be in thanksgiving hey i hope y'all said y'all y'all look I hope, I hope you said i love you to your relatives right if your relatives are 40 to 50 years old i'm telling you right now they got about 20 to 30 years <laughs> no cap if they 40 years old they got about 30 years they got about 30 years if they eating bullshit right now they got about 30 years and that's if they lucky i'm gonna keep it real with you bro that's if they lucky when you see any of these melanated celebrities any of these melanated people when you see them dying from heart attacks let's think about kevin samuels right Kevin Samuels had a stroke. Shout out to Kevin Samuels, right? You know what I'm saying? I didn't agree with everything he talked about, but yo, he had a good purpose, right? You know what I'm saying? He was trying to help people just in a crate just in a harsh way, right? Yo, he died of a stroke. I remember in 2020, I seen Kevin Samuels telling dudes, yo, man, you need to. I think he said eat pork. I don't know what he said. I think he said you need to eat pork or you need to eat this or that. Bro, 50 years old dying from a heart attack. What? And and and, and motherfuckers think, oh, well, that's just genetics. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck no that's because he eats some bullshit that's why he died at 50 do y'all understand that 50 is young like the, like you gotta understand because of because of unhealthy eating habits 50 ain't even middle age no more bro. like 50 like like middle age if you really think about it is like 30 years old now 30 to 35 years old now at this point you feel what i'm saying it's like it's more motherfuckers dying at 50 60 70 because it's like this right and especially if you melanated either the streets gonna kill you right Either jail gonna kill you, right? Or that food gonna kill you. Or drugs gonna kill you. And and guess what? Food and drugs is the same thing. Food and drugs is the same thing. That's the four killers of melanated people, right? The streets, jail, food, and drugs. If them four things do not kill you, if you make it past those four things, you a god. It's over with. You broke free. You free now. Fly your wings, my nigga. You free. If those four things don't get you, it's over with. And that's not even just for melanated people. That's everybody in general, right? But go ahead, my man. Alcohol, like, do you think alcohol, like, should also avoid this one? Horrible, bro. Alcohol is horrible, bro. Alcohol, alcohol is fucking like horrible. Drug, like it's not a drug. It's just horrible. It's worse than a drug. Liquor is horrible. Um, like, that shit is, like, is instantly going to kill you your liver. Like red wine? Red wine, I heard it's healthy. 
But I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Me personally, it still contains alcohol. I wouldn't even drink that personally. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't even drink that personally. All they did was take a little bit of alcohol and mix it with some grapes. That's all they did. At the end of the day, it's still alcohol. I wouldn't even drink that, bro. Feel what I'm saying? So it just is what it is. Alcohol, period, bro, is not healthy for you. It kills your liver. It's gonna fuck up your colon by adding more acidity to it. That's horrible. Like, I ain't gonna lie, that's hor. That's one of the worst things that you can drink. For oh, sure, bro. I just have one more question. Like, last question. Bet, uh, put me on, bro. Okay, I, got, I got a list of questions. So, this one's like, you know, it's about uh, autism. You know, recently. Autism? Yeah, man. Autism has been like spreading. You know, and, 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 and Wait, wait, know, wait. Like, My father cut you off, bro. Autism has been spreading. Yeah, like, it's like. Un, 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 unhealthy eating habits have been spreading. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why autism has been spreading, bro. I'm, I'm going to have babies soon, and I'm a bit worried about autism. Like, I'm worried that if I have a baby, then my baby will have autism. You know, and my brother has autism as well. Like, I'm like, you know, very worried about, you know, whether should I have kids or not. So look at it like this, bro. It has nothing to do with you. Your brother had was he born with autism? I think four years. When he was four years old, he got autism. So wait, he wasn't even born with autism. He was he 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 developed autism while he was alive. I think so, yeah, yeah. So, no, so like, what was he eating? What was he eating when he first came out the womb? I actually, I don't know. Like, I was not there. But so, you wasn't there. The, so, do you think yeah, he was, was eating? Good. Do you think he was eating? I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I know he wasn't eating healthy. But do you think he was eating healthy? Okay, honestly, I think not. Um, I think because of, uh, like, my mother was late. Like, she was in mid-30s when she gave birth to him. So... Maybe that's why she got autism, also because of vaccines. But about so, pregnancy, I think he's just eating the same as me, like nothing, no different. So yeah, bro, I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. Your brother has autism because autism is a, neuro a neurological disorder within the brain when your brain is not receiving enough nutrients in it. Simple as that, right? So a lot of kids, and especially in America, have autism, have ADHD because they grow up eating Apple Jacks and shit. Like, Apple Jacks is not a real apple. Why are you eating Apple Jacks? If I throw a fucking box of Apple Jacks, of Apple Jacks outside, a motherfucking Apple Jacks tree is not going to grow. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, you think your kid, something's wrong with your kid, and now you want to put them on pills and shit. Like, oh, yeah, my kid can't concentrate in school. He can't can't fucking concentrate in school because you feeding this nigga fake food like you see what i'm saying like like that's why your kid can't concentrate in school like bro if you feed if you give a damn if you give a that's like me feeding a damn that's like me having a pet squirrel and instead of me giving this little nigga nuts and this little nigga acorns i'm gonna say you know what hey i'm finna get my pet squirrel i'm finna give him hot cheetos you think the squirrel gonna be able to be a squirrel again bro like you think the squirrel gonna be perfectly fine ain't nothing gonna be wrong with the squirrel but the squirrel not even gonna be a squirrel no more bro he ain't even gonna know how to climb a tree right so that's what you gotta understand bro it's about the food so look this is what your brother need to take bro he need to take skull cap blue vervain st john's worth and iris sea moss bro definitely that's the urge that he need to take bro anybody with adhd need to be taking iris sea moss need to be taking st john's worth blue vervain and skull cap as well too um, you need to definitely be removing starch from your diet as well, too, because people got to understand, bro, it's like if you got a starch based diet and you got a heavy acidic diet, right? Like these foods are going to be restricting nutrients from your body, a.k.a. stripping nutrients from your brain. Right. Let's talk about alopecia real quick. People don't understand that they have alopecia. Right. And they're starting to have hair loss because there's not enough brain. There's not enough blood getting to your brain. Right. So like uh, the same people that be having alopecia problems also be having problems with their headaches as well, too. They be having frequent headaches. It's because because iron is blood you don't have enough iron within your body you have an iron deficiency uh you have an iron deficiency problem right it's because you're not eating enough foods that co contain iron not only are you not eating enough foods that contain iron you're also eating foods that are stripping iron from your body aka blood and now this is why you're waking up and your hair is falling out your hair is thinning and shit that's because you enough you don't you don't have enough blood getting to your brain you feel what i'm saying so simple as that so if you got alopecia i'm gonna get put you on right now Free game. Free game. This is all on my two cup master university. This is free game right now. All of this is on my two cup master university. Like I'm actually, I actually have deep and detailed protocols on what you need to do. I actually have deep and detailed game on what you need to do. And I also actually tell you deep and detail, like where these actual diseases come from. Right. So let me go to alopecia real quick. Right. Boom. Mm -hmm. You need to say bird eye root, gin cobalt boa, right. Uh, wormwood for show for show and rosemary. Definitely. Definitely if you got alopecia. And not even that. Not even that. You need to get my two-cut detox. This actually helps with hair loss as well. It prevents hair loss as well, too. Right? 
So yeah, man, that's definitely what I gotta say. You know what I'm saying? Go get my tuka detox and them herbs that I told you. We do ship. We do ship internationally. We sh we ship to Germany. We ship to New Zealand. We ship to Australia, to the UK. We ship to Canada. Um, we ship to Spain. I think we ship to France as well too. But I don't know if we ship to Qatar. What you could do is you can go to the website and you could check if we do ship to y'all. I don't know for a fact if we ship to y'all or not. I hope so. I hope so. For sure. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. You already know, my boy. Appreciate you, my man. Good luck, man. Stay great. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, see ya. Yeah, real one, real one, real one. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Like, I'm I'm here for a purpose, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not here to play. I'm not here to, like, nah, bro. Let's get to the business, man. Get to the business. Because, like, I don't like seeing that, bro. I don't, I don't know. I don't like seeing that. Like, I don't like seeing my people. Like, like why we got to die by diseases, though? I just don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? Because the disease is just your body being at dis-ease, right? Your body is at dis-ease because your body is not receiving the proper nutrients that it needs. You feel what I'm saying? Simple as that. Appreciate that super chat. For sure, for sure. Yeah, man. Like, talking about so many gems dropped in this live. Shoot, I'm just talking for real. It's my life, right? Like, it don't even feel like I'm dropping gems. That's why I say, like, y'all need to... I'm telling y'all, man, y'all need to come to that seminar. Y'all need to come get that VIP ticket, right? Because it's like... And when I don't be realizing this, it's like, bro... And when I say I'm just talking for real, it's like, I mean, like, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, like, why do people be spamming, bro? It's just, it's 2020. It's 2020. What? It's 2024. Like, come on, bro. Like, it's it's 2024. Yeah, just go ahead. Just go ahead and just, you're just, yeah, you're just going to be gone, bro. Yeah. 24 hours, bro. You're going to put in time out. You got to, it's crazy, bro. I'm a grown man. I got to put other grown men in time out. That's crazy. Like, it's crazy, bro. I never understood what's the, I'm about to put somebody in, but like I never understood what's the point of like trolling though. No cap. Like what you're literally wasting your time for trolling. Like it's like you really just trying to get a laugh out of somebody, bro. Like, or you trying to get somebody reaction. It's like, bro, you could put that attention into like your business, bro. You could be asleep right now, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be asleep, right? It's crazy, bro. Like, I could never put that much attention to somebody. Oh yeah, baby. I'm finna mod you. I got my baby on here. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, Ron? That's a bet. Hey, what's your name, my man? Alyssa. Your name's Alyssa? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a state. Okay, for sure. I mean, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, go ahead, though. That's cool, though. Yeah. You human. <laughs> Shit. You know, so, you know the thing about diet? I do eat healthy most of the time, but you know how, like, do you ever get cravings to eat unhealthy or, like, junk food, like, like maybe fries or, like, pizza every now and then? Like, what do you think someone, like, should do or do you think like somebody should balance it because like me i try to balance it. i try to eat like just two cheat days a week okay so me personally like i'm a you want me to you want me to be hey baby hey baby you need to text real quick text in the chat you need to text in the chat don't be texting me you need to text in the chat text in the chat baby because i'm not searching up for your name just text in the chat so i can see you and then i'm gonna mod you yeah just text in the chat baby go ahead hurry up baby hurry up my fault i'm about to answer your question my baby need to hurry up my baby need to hurry up I got a, I got a, I got a bunch of like lame niggas in here with no life. Hold on. I got a bunch of dudes that's like not gonna be like nothing in life ever. Hold on, baby, baby, hurry up, hurry up. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry to do this. Hurry up, baby, baby. You texting me? You need to, you need to, you need to, you need to. Yeah, baby, you need to hurry up. You need to hurry up. Bullshitting. Why are these niggas weird? These niggas so weird. I ain't gonna lie. These niggas, like, these niggas is gonna go, like, these niggas so weird, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you gotta be, like, you lame, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, here you go, baby, for sure. Like, I don't know. Niggas be weird, bro. Niggas be weird. Uh, they probably just young. They probably 13. Man, bro, at 13, I was trying to get some money. Them niggas weird. Like, I was 13, I wasn't watching YouTube lives. Like commenting, trolling, bro. Niggas weird. Like at thirteen, I was trying to get money in girls. <laughs> like, like I was trying to be on the phone with a girl right now. Like you thirteen and somebody live. Like that's sad, bro. That's sad. I ain't gonna lie. Like even thirteen, bro. Like thirteen, I would have been bullying you. You would have been the nigga that I'm bullying. Like no cap. I ain't gonna lie. Like that's what's wild too. That's what's wild about it. But hey, what you say though? Go back to your question. Okay, so like, so. About 
I remember what you said. My bad. I remember what you said. You said the cravings. You said the cravings. So like understanding like this, that's not you craving that. That's parasites craving that, right? Um, also, you got to understand that you're, you have to look at your body like it's a program, right? So it's like food is a drug. So it's like if you've been eating a certain drug, aka a certain food your whole entire life, it's like you're going to want the taste of that food because you've been eating it so long, right? So it's like you got to, when you're getting those cravings, you got to resist those cravings. Simple as that. Now, me personally, right? Let's, let's speak on this, right? And I'm going to keep it as raw as possible. Like, I don't believe in a cheat meal. And this is not to come at you or nothing like that when I say this. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe in a cheat meal because to me, that shit weak as hell, right? And I say that shit weak as hell, right? Because it's like a cheat meal is like, yo... What what the fuck am I about to cheat for real? Like I don't want to cheat in life. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm keep it real. Like I'm not like I'm not eating. Like I eat food. I look at food like food is that medicine, right? Like I just don't want to put poison in my body. Like if I go out to my seminar, like I told sticks and shit, right? Like one of the cooks was like, "Yo, like can we serve alcohol?" We both said, "Hell no, no alcohol." Simple as that. No alcohol at the event. I don't care if everybody 21. No, no alcohol at this event. I don't give a fuck. We not drinking no alcohol, none of that shit. I don't believe in poison in my body. It's gonna be straight good food there. You feel what I'm saying? So simple as that, bro. I don't believe in uh uh poison in my body, nothing like that. Um, but yeah, man, that's how that shit goes. So like, I don't believe in cheat meals and nothing like that. Like food is our medicine. I'm gonna make sure that I put good medicine in my body at all times. Not only that, right? This is how I view food, right? Because people need to stop thinking that you're gonna live life life in a neutral way, right? Like, there's no such thing as being neutral. That's a concept that was made up by humans that's trying to think too deep. Like, there's no such thing as neutral. Like, you're either gonna go up or you're gonna go down. So whatever you're eating is either gonna bring you up or it's gonna bring you down. Simple as that, right? So it's like, that's how I view food. Like, I, before I put something in my body, is this going to bring me up or is this going to bring me down? You know what I'm saying? So that's how, that's how I look at it. Okay, I never, I never thought about it like that. Because, like, with me, the t meals, like, and I am, like, because the thing is, too, like, junk food's not even, I don't know if it's because I've been eating it so long, but, like, those, the things that I crave, I'd be like, dang, it wasn't even that good. Like, I don't know, maybe I just need, but... I always thought, like, if I just did it, like, twice a week or just try to, like, do it as least as possible. Because yeah. they say, too, like, if you don't do it, that's how you just go crazy. Like, you just start really, like, really, who, really eating unhealthy. Who, said, who said that's how you just go crazy? Who was they? Because it just sounds like these niggas ain't got no damn discipline and they just weak as hell. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know, bro. It's just, it's just, you got to have discipline for real, bro. A lot of people just don't got discipline in life. And it's like, bro, achievement. Like, I couldn't even imagine doing, like, I don't even, cause it's like, I feel like if you, if you want a cheat meal, it's because you don't really like the food that you eating for real. I love the food that I'm putting inside my body. Like, I love the food that I'm eating. Like, if you said, if you said, like, eat a cheat meal, I'm be like, nigga, I eat a cheat meal every single day. <laughs> like, like, I eat a cheat meal every single day when I eat this alkaline chickpea pasta, right? When I eat this alkaline wild rice. You know what I'm saying? When I eat these alkaline raw meals, it's like, yo, I eat a cheat meal every single day. Like, I don't put poison. My poison, poison is not a cheat meal for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, I just, I just love myself to the point to where, like, I care about my body, and it's like, I'm big on like, what am I putting in my body? I'm just big on that, man. I feel like no matter what, bro, you gotta respect the temple of God. Simple as that. And the temple of God is what you see in the mirror. So it's like, how to, like, that's why I don't, I don't understand, I don't understand certain Christians. Like, it's like, yo. You call yourself a Christian and you love God, something that's some you calling something God that's something outside of you. But even in your own fucking book, it said the temple of God is you. This is the temple of God. You don't even keep the temple of God clean. Huh? But you going to like that don't even like that don't even make sense to me. It's like you keeping you you drinking alcohol, you doing all these other things, but you like huh, that don't even like come on man. Like anyway, hypocrisy. Uh I mean a democracy, right? But nah, go ahead though. that you like to do or like just stuff that you like to do in life like you said how do i find stuff i want to do in life no like how, how is like just in general how does somebody find like hobbies or like things that they're interested in 
they gotta they gotta tap into themselves you know what i'm saying like it's easy to like i don't know i always knew what i was interested in i feel like you just gotta tap into yourself and stop trying to tap in with other people like you could have distractions around like if you really want to know what makes you interested like first of all you need to cut off entertainment cut off distractions and then sometimes you just need to get in solitude and just not even talk to nobody like you really gotta tap in with yourself the more you find out about yourself the more that you can learn about yourself and the more you can actually grow you know what i'm saying that's how you find out your interest in life Definitely. A lot of people don't know what they want to do in life because a lot of people don't want to know, don't know what they want to do in life because they don't know themselves. You know what I'm saying? They don't know themselves as individuals. But hold on. I want to say something real quick. Y'all know these people ain't real, right? Like y'all know these people in the comments ain't real. I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm telling y'all these people in the comments ain't real. Thank you, baby, for like definitely removing these people. But they not real, though. Notice how I've been on this live for two hours and 16 minutes, right? I'm about to free y'all mind, right? Notice how I've been on this live for two hours and 16 minutes. They started popping up. Once I started th talking about the food that you put in your body, notice that, notice that, notice them people started popping up. These bots is not a, it's not a 12 year old. Notice how these bots started popping up when I started talking about cancer and how you heal it. I'm telling you, bro, niggas be watching. I'm telling you. And bitch, I know you watching. I love it. I'm coming for you. I'm telling you. I love it. I know you watching. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. It's already over with. It's already over with. But I'm trying to tell y'all this. I'm trying to tell y'all this. Like, nah, they could have came when I first started the live. These people never been on my live before. They never came through. I have did how many lives? I've, did, I've, I've done like probably 12 lives within the three the past three months, right? 12 some lives. I don't know, probably like eight lives. They have never been in here one time. The one live, I started explaining food in detail. I started saying, yo, go get these herbs, go get all these. Now all these people just start popping up talking about, nigger this nigga. Bro, they trying to cause a distraction. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Somebody, somebody, somebody may, hey, somebody said, oh, nah, he, he doing too much. Nah, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro, because there's no way in hell. There's no way in hell. I ain't never seen that on my live in years. And now I start talking about that, and now they just all start popping up. That's crazy, bro. You feel me? It's like you be telling on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like what these people got to understand is already too. Uh, it's already too late. Like nigga, your time is up. There's a paradigm shift coming on. Nigga, your time is up. It's already gone. It's already up. And that's why I don't talk about conspiracy theories. I don't talk about nothing like that because if you really want to free yourself from this world, if you want to not from this world, from their world. If you want to free yourself from their world, you got to get on that love vibration. Nobody can fuck with you when you on that love vibration, right? They can only intercept how you feel and they can only fuck with you when you operating in the vibration of fear so that's why they feed you the fucking news channel y'all niggas need to understand when y'all niggas watch the news i believe that they are pl playing subliminal messages in the news right because what you got to understand everything is about energy if if your energy is on that fear vibration right certain entities can feed off of that shit they can use your ass they can make you do certain things because when you operate in a fear vibration you're not connect you're you're disconnecting yourself from source at that point so now you free you a free body at that point you a free body we can fuck with you we got you once you start raising your vibration because you gotta understand like this they want you niggas to have cancer they want you niggas to eat unhealthy because that's gonna lower your vibration that's gonna keep you in that fear state right it'd be so many people when i say cancer they start getting scared they want people to think like that they don't want a nigga that know what he talking about right that got that crown on his head to start saying like nah bro cancer is literally just an overproduction of cells look look every time i say cancer Every time I say cancer, every time, every time, did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Every time, bro, you can't make this up, bro. Every time I said that, every time I get the preaching, every time, every single time, they, bro, I'm telling you this crazy, bro. I love it. I love it because I know I'm doing right. But keep going, though. What was you saying? No, I was about to say, though, um, and then I'm going to go back to the hobby thing. But, like, sometimes she'll be thinking, like, we create, like, Based off of the vibration we on, we can create like certain like entities or spirits. Like I don't know if you ever had this, but you remember sleep paralysis when you was a kid, or, yeah, like, maybe even a teenager, and you would see those demons and those like those people just mess with you. I think sometimes too, like we just create like certain energy to like mess with us, just depending on how low our vibration is, like facts, or just not even just how like. Just how disconnected we can be. I think we just project entities sometimes. Cause like facts, because it's like what you gotta understand is like certain entities can come, come, come. Cause you gotta look at it like this, right? It's like an entity is just a human, right? An entity is just a human 
that has not crossed over to that other side yet. That's all an entity is for real. So that's why people be having sometimes when some people like women, sometimes they have uh, sleep paralysis, right? Sometimes when some women have uh, sleep paralysis and things like that, like they start seeing individuals raping them and things like that. It'd be crazy. But but yeah, but really, but really whole time, though, it's really just a human. Like it's really just a human. And like those like lower entity humans, right? They can only that haven't crossed over to the other side. Like they can only come mess with you because it's like you operating on a certain vibration. It's kind of like seafood eat food. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, if he bitch for real, if he on that low vibration, if he scared, I'm gonna come fuck with him. Oh, but if he walking in his power, if he walking as a god, oh, I can't fuck with him. Nah, I can't. I can't do nothing with him. Like that's why me. Like I'm. I haven't got some. Like bro, me. If if I get sleep paralysis, I'm not about to have nobody come fuck with me. Like I'm not about to have like nah like. I can go anywhere I want to. Like, you're not going to be able to come fuck with me because it's like, um, bro, you can't come fuck with me, bro. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Because I walk in my power, right? It's like, I don't fear nothing. You could put a gun to my head. In real life, I will not fear that. Go ahead, pull it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't fear nothing. You feel me? So it's like, they can only get you if you fear something. If you don't fear nothing, you beat the game. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm trying to get to that level. Like, just have that confidence and like, I'm untouchable. I want to get there. Like, I know I'm not there yet, but hopefully one day I will be. Look, hey, hey. No, you are there yet. But look, look, look. Look what I'm telling people. I'm telling people, yo, yo, fear is an illusion. I'm telling, I'm telling, watch, look, the bot there. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Because it's not a coincidence. It's like every time I'm saying something, because whenever you talking, they ain't popping up. But whenever I'm saying something, it's like they, they, they spamming them comments so they can get people off of what I'm saying and they can get them to, to look at the comments. Like the whole time, they just saying stupid shit. It's just shit that don't even matter. It's crazy. But uh, now that's real. I'm going to put somebody else on that call, though. That was a real talk, man. That was a real talk. Yeah, nice. Okay. Wait, can I say one more thing? Yeah, definitely. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So about the hobbies, like you said cut out entertainment. You mean like cut out everything like like Netflix? Cut, like cut out what is not serving you. If it is not making you, if it is not giving you more wealth, more love, more health or more knowledge, cut it out. It's not serving you. Simple as that. Like, I ain't gonna lie, man. If you want to know how to get on your shit in life, yo, don't even think big. Think simple. Okay, look at all the things in your reality right now. Is it leading to more love, more health, more wealth or more knowledge? If the answer is no, cut it off and start doing things that's going to lead to those more four th those four things. Hey, you ain't got to never watch a video that I say ever. You ain't never got to watch a video from me, a video from nobody else. You ain't even got to read another book. You could literally just take this advice that I'm giving you right now. Do four, do those four things. Do things that's going to lead to those four things. More wealth, more health, more love, and more knowledge. Yo, you're going to be your highest version of life. Simple. Because if you're only doing things that's going to lead to that, right, to lead to those results, yo, what else you need? What else do you actually need in life? Love, money, wealth, right, health, Right. And knowledge. What else do you actually need in life? You don't need nothing else in life. So it's like at that point, you got those four necessities. Oh, you good for sure. You good. But hey, I appreciate you joining this uh, joining this call for sure. For sure. Let's get it. Definitely. Hey, hey, let's go. Real one. Real one. That's a bit. That's a bit. Hey, man, it's 1206. Whoo. I might. I might. I might. I might do like I'm going to do like two more. I'm going to do like two more. Do like two more. Uh, R Flexa. I'm gonna put R Flexa in here. R Flexa. Yo, what's up, my boy? Yo. Hi, uh, yo. What's happening? What's good, bro? Appreciate that super chat. I, I don't. I ain't saying one. That wasn't me. No, no, no. I'm talking. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the chat. Yeah. YouTube. What's up, bro? Real talk, hey, first off, gotta gotta give you a flowers, bro. Appreciate you uh posting the shit. You 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 spend some game now, you spend some game. Appreciate you, my man, appreciate you, man. Where you calling in from? Hey, hey. Well, where am I coming in from? Arizona, Arizona. Arizona, hey, Arizona hard. I, I fuck with Arizona. I mess with Arizona heavy. Arizona on the come up, bro. They call yeah. the next Cali. Everybody moving in. It's hot, but it ain't cold, I'll tell you that. Hey, you wanna know something crazy, bro? Yeah, uh, put me on. On Thursday. On Thursday, when you went live, I'm working out, bro, and I swear to God. I, I get like beamed. I swear to God, I get like crown shocker activation type shit. And it yeah. said like, like Vaughn is live. I don't know what it was. It was just like, that's I, real. I Damn. No, no, no. Real and, and I've been on the lives. I've been on all of them. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been, I've been on a couple of lives. But what's it called? Yeah, bro. And uh, I check it like 10 minutes later. It said you ended the live like 10 minutes ago. I thought it was wild. I was like, bro. Dang, that's real. That's real. Tap in, tap in. Let's go. 
Hey, hey, everyone in the chat right now, if you when people say putting it out there, putting it out there is a hundred percent real. This motherfucker be putting it out there and I picked up on it, swear to God. That's real. Hey, you got a question, bro? Um, I do got a question. Matter of fact, I don't know if you remember, I asked you, I sent you an email when you was live a couple weeks ago. I said what if I manifested dinosaurs to kill everyone? You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, <laughs> yeah. Nah, bro, it was unfortunate you didn't take it as serious as I, I was hoping you would. Like, you probably thought it was like a little kid or something, but I'm being dead serious. Now, listen, please ask me this. Bet. Is there limitations to what you can manifest? Nah, there's not, there's not limitations with nothing. That's what I'm saying. So who's saying I can't manifest a bunch of dinosaurs? That's real talk. Nah, so like it's like this, right? It's just like is it the way you asked it was like I thought you was playing, I ain't gonna lie. But like but like but like it's like this, right? It's like this, right? It's like first of all, it's like I feel like this, right? You can say you can manifest a whole bunch of dinosaurs, but it might not be in the way that you think and expect, right? Like for instance, right? Let's say if you say, okay, you wanna manifest a whole bunch of dinosaurs here. First of all, you say you wanna manifest a whole bunch of dinosaurs so it can start eating people and shit or killing people or doing something, right? Okay, now you're trying to throw harm on people. So more, more than likely, whatever you're trying to manifest is always gonna come back to you. So if you say you were trying to manifest dinosaurs, you probably wouldn't actually manifest a real life dinosaur, but you would start manifesting like dinosaur bones and shit. So you would start seeing dinosaur, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, bro, this is what I'm saying, right? Like, if if I'm not even finna talk about me. Let's say if somebody is dead, right? And you and you try to say, yo, I'm gonna manifest this person to come back to life. Okay, bro, you're probably you're not gonna manifest that person to come back to life. What you might do is you might start channeling that person's essence in a sense. Like you might start channeling the memory of that person that you had of him, like the memory of him that you had of him. And now you might start becoming that person. You see what I'm saying? So like, that's what's going to happen, bro. You feel me? Certain things are just intangible. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, like, everything is possible, but it's like, for instance, bro, if somebody is gone, bro, bro, that person is gone, bro. You could see, you could definitely manifest them and see them in a dream, right? You could definitely manifest them and see them like in the astral room or something, but like you actually seeing them in real life in person, bro, they body already gone, bro. They body dead. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so when it comes to that, it's like, when it comes to death, that's the only limitation is death. That's the only limitation. Hey, uh, question number two, bro. Uh, 432 Hertz. Now, listen, when I put on Hertz music, I have to admit, like, I, I physically feel better. I feel calmer in my body. Feels Facts. Better, but it, I, I, how? You feel me? It, it, everyone will tell you, like, yeah, 432 is good, 440 is bad, but, like, why and how? You because understand? everything is a sound frequency, bro. Understand it like this, bro. Did I help you in life? Yeah, of course. I helped you through sound frequency. <sighs> I think you need to like understand what I'm saying. The only reason why you're even under able to understand me right now is because I'm spitting out a sound frequency, right? Sound frequency is everything. You're a sound frequency. That's how they built the fucking pyramids, through sound frequency, right? So it's like, what you got to understand is the shit I've been saying for, for, I said this shit in 2021, and then scientists confirmed this shit at the end of 2022. They said, yo, scientists said, yo, we studied and we, we found out in the lab that sound frequencies can literally change DNA and levitate objects, right? So everything is sound, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they tell you, they tell you certain things. They give you little truths in like certain religious books as well, too. Like even in the Bible, it said, God said, listen to what I'm saying. God said, let there be light. God said, he said, he spoke it into existence. And this is why every God in the flesh has power of tongue, right? So <laughs> what you speak into existence will come to life. Simple as that. So a lot of people get up every single damn day and don't understand that they have the power of the tongue and they're getting up saying shit like, I'm B-R-O-K-E, right? Because I don't even want to say that. They're saying, oh, I'm B-R-O, I'm B-R-O-K-E. Oh, I'm S-I-C-K, right? They see all these things over and over and over and then they wonder why they actually manifest that into their life. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you have the power of the tongue. Everything is sound. Like light is only here because of sound, right? Like without sound, we wouldn't even have light. Right. So that's how that goes, man. That's how they go. And that's a whole another conversation. But yeah, bro. So that's why I like frequencies and things like that work, because you're a soul and a soul is a sound frequency. That's all a soul is, is a sound frequency that comes from the sun. Right. So understanding like this is like you got to understand that because what you this is also what you have to understand. Right. What you don't know, somebody else's knows. Right. So it's like you have to understand, like, why do you think in the 1940s they they they, they put out a federal law that said all of the music that is played 
is going to get converted into 440 hertz, right? I'm pretty sure y'all seen about that, right? Where like in the 1940s, they passed a law in the United States to where all music that's getting played is not going to be in 432 hertz no more. It's going to be in 440 hertz. Why do you think that, right? Who put in that call? Like who the fuck said, yeah, we're going to switch this shit to 440 hertz? Y'all got to start thinking outside the box. Like who the fuck you think put in that call? Because what you got to understand, like what you got to tell me is like, if somebody tell me, yo, bro, sound frequencies ain't real. Okay, so why in the hell did the 19, in the 1940s, did the fucking federal government say, yeah, we're going to change all the sound frequencies to go from 432 hertz to 440 hertz? If, if sound frequencies don't got nothing to do with anything, why is the federal government even changing anything? Like, why didn't they just keep it the same? Because, my boy, they is trying to <laughs> control you. Simple as that, right? Because 440 hertz is the destruction frequency. Simple as that. So, I mean, that's just how it goes, bro. That's how it goes. That's why even with my music, bro, I'm trying to, like, uh, my ne all the new music I'm putting out, definitely going to be putting, like, 432 hertz for show for show. Like, if you listen to my book, my book... Um, that I posted my audio book, the music in the back. Oh, my bad. I'm, I'm sorry, baby. The music in the background of my uh, audio book was 432 hertz. That was the music in the background. It was 432 hertz audio book, right? 432 hertz. So it's like, if you was listening to that, you was listening to 432 hertz, right? But yeah, you got any more questions, bro? Uh, nah, young games, but I appreciate you, homie. Appreciate you too, bro. Stay great. Hey, hey! Real one. Bad, 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 bad. All right, man, I'll put... Put one more. Appreciate that super chat. Sound frequency is everything. Sound frequency is everything, man. Everything, man. Everything, man. Power the tongue. Power the tongue. <laughs> Let there be light. <laughs> Power the tongue, my boy. Remember that. Power the tongue. I told one of my coaches, I'm going to get another call here real quick. I told one of my coaches, I said, yo, like, hold on. I'm going to read to you. I'm going to read to y'all what I told one of my coaches, man. He probably on here right now, man. Shout out to my boy, Richie. All right. So look. One of my coaches, right, he was like, yo, he was like, I think it's time to lock in with my main YouTube now, bro. I'm just a guy with no money. That's what he said. I'm just a guy with no money, right? I told him, I said, stop viewing yourself like that. You're a guy with the power of tongue, right? Saying you ain't got no money ain't going to get any money, right? If you want to get some money, stop saying you got you got no money because you ain't never going to get some money by saying you ain't got no money. It's never going to work like that, right? I said, and then I told him what to do. And then I said, can't believe what your eyes see. You got to tell your eyes what you want to see until you actually see it. Hey, hey, if your bank account is a negative right now, do you want to see a negative, right? No. So stop telling yourself that you see a negative. You got to be delusional. You got to see millions in your bank account even when you at a negative or zero dollars. You got to tell yourself that all every day, every single day. You got to tell yourself. You got to show your eyes. You got to tell your eyes what it to believe. So it can actually start seeing that. You feel what I'm saying? Um, VIP ticket eligibility. If you a human being, <laughs> if it's it, shoot, I ain't gonna lie. If you got two legs and two arms, bro, and you a human being, bro, you could be an alien, bro. If you a V, I don't care, bro. Like it is what it is, bro. I don't even care. That's the VI. You ain't gotta be a certain age to get the ticket, bro. You could be 14 years old, bro. It don't matter. You could be 50 years old. It don't matter, man. Put somebody else up in here, man. But yeah, man, walk by faith and not by sight for show for show. Your eyes is gonna tell you lies, man, for show for show, right? You have to let the en the energy manifest before you actually see it in the physical, right? Right. So that's how I go. You gotta receive whatever you believe, you will receive. Uh, one more person in here, man. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna close my eyes. One more person in here. One more person in here. One more. Oh shoot, I'm tripping. One more person in here. One more person in here, man. Okay, let me make sure I'm on it. One more person in here, man. One more person in here. One more person in here. All right, I'm going to just click. Just click. Boom, I put somebody in here. Cool. Last person in the call, man. Last person of the day. Last person of the day. I love y'all, man. No cap. Go ahead and get your seminar ticket. Let's get it. Yo, what's good, bro? Last person of the day, my man. Last person of the day. Let's get it, bro. Hey, where you calling in from, bro? Y'all yeah, from Australia, man. I'm from Australia. Hey, hey, hey. I love Australia, man. I love. I got so many people out in Australia, bro. I love it, man. What's your name, bro? Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, my name is Hussein, man. Azim, so, that's a bet. Bro. You got a question, bro? A... Yeah, bro. Uh, oh, wait, yeah. If he... My bad, bro. Son just walked in. Just one minute, man. One minute, and I'll close the show for a minute, man. Now, you good, bro. You good, bro. Yeah, sorry. Hey, bro. How you doing? Just this. Oh, he working right now. I love it. He on the clock. Yeah, bro. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Hey, I'm putting myself. I'm putting myself on mute real quick. My boy on the clock. My boy on the clock getting that bread. Hey, my boy on the on the clock getting that bread. Why he on the live, bro? That's dedication right there. What? 
He on a clock getting bread and still sitting. I'm about to. What? For that dedication right there. Put me on, bro. What's up? I got everything I need to know. I understand that I am literally a god in human flesh. I can, I can really manifest anything. I, I already know. I already know like the majority of that. So I ain't, I ain't into all of that. I just got a question, bro. So me, I'm trying to I'm trying to put my brother onto the same thing, you know? Because me and my brother, um, we are both on the you know you know about numerology, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Me and bro, me and my brother, we are both ones, yeah. So we are both the same nature and i understand that he wants to have his potential to be born right he wants to reach his maximum potential but he ain't doing that man he's he like he like skipping he like skipping some work or he's like uh he's smoking weed like he like he's he's not eating right always eating some processed shit you know always wasting time with a bunch of bums and shit so I, like i don't i want to like influence him i want him to like I want him to like gravitate towards me where me and him as two brothers, we can just pursue our goals, pursue our, you know, purpose and shit together, you know? Facts. So, so what, so what do you think I could do so I could gravitate him towards me, man? Cause you got to lead by example, bro. You got to lead by example, bro. Simple as that. Like you can't force him to try to be on what you want, bro. You got to lead by example, bro. Simple as that. And that's what that's what everybody on this live needs to understand, bro. If you want your if you want to help your family, you need to make it out so your family start looking up to you, bro. You need to actually like that's what you need to do. Like for instance, right? Like if I was still if I was still, bro, a dude that ain't do nothing with my life, bro, I was still in my mama career, bro. My mama wouldn't be trying to eat healthy. You know what I'm saying? Like my mama, bro, she be actually trying to eat healthy now a little bit. She still be eating bullshit, but like she trying to eat healthy more, bro. Cause my mama like damn you famous on youtube and you and you're healthy woo, woo, woo. so it's like that be giving my mama inspiration i ain't got to tell my mama oh eat this eat that but my mama already knew i gave her the rundown for for years right i ain't doing that no more so i just lead by example once i'm on stage february 23rd at my live seminar is because my mama don't even know i'm about to do this i'm about to go see her like uh, like in a couple weeks i'm about to go see her in like two weeks because it's my grandma's birthday on february 9th right she in aquarius but i'm about to go see my grandma and my, my people's right so that i'm not even telling them about i'm, I'm about to do this seminar right so so it's like when they start seeing videos of me on stage and I'm giving knowledge to people, it's going to kick into their head like, oh, shoot, that's my baby. Like, that's my son. Oh, that's my grandson. Like, now it's going to start clicking like maybe I need to start listening. Like, wow. Like, he just got all these people like listen to him on stage. Like, and this is my son. Like, oh, my God. Like, they going to see all of this. They going to hear what people be saying. They're like, oh, my God. Like, so you got to understand like this is like. People are going to listen to you more, bro, when you actually got something to show for it, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like get something about yourself to where it's like your brother has no choice but to try to follow in your shoes, bro. That, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, bro. Facts, bro. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's like at the end of the day, bro, it's about your journey, bro. You feel me? It's like you can't make him do something. At the end of the day, bro, the best thing you can do is just focus on you. Literally, that's the answer to everything. The best thing that you can do is focus on you. And that's the only way he's going to ever, he's going to ever start trying to do the things that you're doing and then follow his own path, bro. That's the only way. Simple as that. Because honestly, bro, you talking to a you talking to a brick wall, bro. If you keep trying to force him to do something, bro, it's actually going to make, it's gonna actually going to cause resistance and he's not going to want to do those things, bro. The more you tell him to eat healthy, the more you tell him to do this and that, now he going to feel like that you bossing him around. You, he going to feel like you better than him. And he going to be like, nah, I don't want to listen to him. I'm going to do my own thing. And now you're going to make it work for him now he actually not gonna fuck with you at all feel what i'm saying the best thing you do like what you got to understand is bro people grow sometimes the best way to pe help people is with silence sometimes the best way to help people is in your absence right that's the best way to help people exactly when you when you when you remove yourself from people when you stop trying to help people that's the best way sometimes because now they like dang like he don't want to talk to me no more dang like he don't like dang like maybe i'm doing something wrong maybe i'm in the wrong you feel me Bro, I agree with you. Facts, my boy. Facts. You got anything else for me, man? No, man. That's all. That's all. I'm gonna get back to work, man. That's a bet, man. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Keep doing your thing, bro. Stay great. Yeah, of course, man. Thank you for the talk, man. You already know, my man. Hey, hey. Let's get it. The real one. Hey, man. I get one more. I get one more. I, I give it. I give one more. I get one more. I get one more. Let me get one more. That's real right there, bro. That's love right there. Man, that's love, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm so grateful for this, man. I'm so grateful for this, man. Like, the fact that I can't even sit up here, bro, and talk, bro. Like, I can just, like, this is crazy, bro. Like, 
I'm just so grateful for this, bro. Like, I wouldn't, like, I would not, like, bro, on, on some real talk, bro, something I just really gave up, bro. Like, and I said this on my last live, too, but, like, one thing, man, like, you said, coming into this year, bro, I ain't gonna lie, like, I really, like, I got a, I got, I got a lot of money, bro, but, like, honestly, man, like, I really don't care about getting money at all, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, and I'm not saying don't get no money. That's not what I'm saying. Like, of course, bro, you got to you gotta get some type of resources so you can help other people for sure, for sure, bro. I'm not telling you to be broke. What I'm saying, this is like, man, like, honestly, bro, if I wasn't even getting paid from what I'm doing, bro, I don't even care, bro. If YouTube wasn't monetizing me, bro, I don't care. I'm still coming with a video every week. I'm still going live every Saturday. I don't even care, bro. Like, I'm, I, I mean that to the fullest, bro. I mean, that if even my seminar, bro, even my seminar. Like, yo, I'm getting paid to do that, man. But, like, at the at, like on the real, bro, I ain't even going to lie. Like, people are only paying for it because it's like people appreciate things that they pay for, right? Like, honestly, that's what I realized. People appreciate things more that they pay for. Like, if people, if I give you some free pair of shoes... Right, or I give you a free book. If I give somebody a free book, they probably not even gonna open that book up. They're gonna be like, Oh, it's a free book for sure. I'll, I'll end up reading it. A year go by, they still ain't read it. If somebody pay a hundred dollars for a book, man, they gonna open that book up the same day and they're gonna read that full entire book. You feel what I'm saying? But even that, man, it's like even my seminar, I do that for free, bro. Performing music, like doing shows, bro, I do that for free, bro. Making music, I, I don't even care about I like that's one thing I really don't care about getting paid about. My music, I do not care about getting paid for my music, man. I don't care about getting pay for my music like i ain't gonna lie i really don't care i ain't gonna lie uh boom let me put supreme wisdom here last person for the call man last person last person now just because i don't care doesn't mean i'm not gonna get paid but if it was an option to where it's like yo you can't ever get paid from this fuck it man i'm still gonna do it bro i ain't gonna lie because you gotta do something you know what i'm saying That's what you got to realize. You can anything, you can make anything a profit. Like, you could profit off of anything in society, bro, anything. Like, if somebody ever tell you that, oh, this thing doesn't make money, nah, bro, they just don't know how to make no money from it. You feel what I'm saying? Just because somebody else can't hustle it don't mean you can't hustle it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, whatever somebody else can't make no money from, don't think, oh, it can't. you can't make no money from it because they not making no money from it. Nah, you can make some money from it, bro. Anything in life is an opportunity. Everything in life is. Yo, what's up, my man? What's good, bro? Yo, bro. Hey, man. What's your name, bro? Yeah, my name Travis, bro. And That's... my mic quality good on here because I'm, I'm on a laptop on this shit. I ain't got my Yeah, you good, bro. They should be able to hear you for sure, for sure. All right, for sure. Just making sure. Shit, how y'all dang going though, bro? Man, I'm doing, man, I'm doing good, bro. I'm, I'm feeling like love, man. I'm happy and grateful for everything I have, man. You the last call on here for sure, for sure, bro. Yo, you got a question though, bro? No, for sure. I mean. I don't know for sure if I got any questions and shit, but, like, I mean, this shit lined up perfect, like, that you was doing these call-ins, because, bro, like, I literally, I was just watching your live the other day and stuff, and I was talking about that whole little cinema thing, like, I seen that little cinema you was talking about, and yeah. I was thinking about coming up there and everything, though, like, shit been a struggle recently, like, I've just been going, like, place to place, I've been, shit been a little fucked up recently, I've been trying to get back on my grind and shit, but, yeah. oh, it's crazy, because, like, bro, I'm sitting here, like, for so long, bro. I've been struggling with money, shit like that. Just in here, not even realizing, bro, I was blocking myself. From, like, I was just blocking my own manifestations. All yeah, facts. It be you every time. Oh, I swear to God, bro. And it's like, recently, it just got to the point where I was like, all right, fuck it, bro. I'm happy with what I got, bro. I'm just going to do what I love. Like, I'll be making music and shit. I'll also be making content. I kind of be on the same type of shit you be doing. Just be preaching and shit. But I just got to the point. I was like, fuck it, bro. I got what I got. Like, I'm grateful. I got my own phone. Like, I got, facts. I got a roof on my head. Facts. I got a roof on my back, shit like that. It got to the point, I'm like, bro, fuck it. I'm just be grateful for that shit. And then out of nowhere, bro, like, money is actually starting to pop up in my life again. Like, it been a small amount of shit like that, but it's like, hey, bro, I'm working with what I got to do. Like, I've bro. been doing, like, little small shit, like, little surveys, stuff like that. And, like, I just, made, like, making, like, 35 a week low. Just quick little bits, because for, like, for a while, bro, like, I swear to God, I was starting to feel like I was cursed, bro. <laughs> I'm sitting here all types of shit, like, bro, why ain't I getting no money? Like, I couldn't even make, like, $5, like, small shit, bro. Like, I couldn't even make nothing to get food, drink, stuff like that. And out of nowhere, bro, like, all this stuff just been starting to pop into my life again. You want to know the science? Appreciate them super chats. Hey, you want to know? You want to know the science behind that, bro? So I, I'm so glad that you said that, right? Because for one, you gotta understand it's the compound effect. Right now, you're making thirty five dollars a week. Soon, it's gonna turn into three hundred fifty dollars a week, and then that three hundred fifty dollars is gonna go to thirty five hundred in a week, right? And then, and then, and then, and then it's just gonna keep going, and then thirty five hundred in a week gonna turn to fucking thirty five thousand in a month, right? So it's gonna it's a compound effect, bro. So you know why you know why it happened like that. 
Because people don't understand that what you focus on will grow. If you focus on your problems in life, if you focus on the lack that you have in life, right, that will grow more. So it's like if you you was focusing on your curse of money, you was feeling like you was cursed and you kept focusing on that. So guess what? All you was going to get was more experiences in your life to make you feel like you was cursed. Once you took your focus off, you literally just proved my point, bro. Like once you took your focus off of feeling cursed, you took your focus off of that BS and you put your focus on, well, man, look, I got a phone, bro. Like, man, I got this, I got that. You put your focus on what you had already. Now you're going to have more things to put your focus on that you can, like, I'm, I'm not saying like this, right? You put your focus on things that you already had, right? AKA your abundance that you already got. Cause some people don't even got a phone. Some people don't even got as much as you have. Some people, if they switch lives with you, they feel like they're going to be, they're going to feel like they're abundant now. You see what I'm saying? Like you understand that like some people don't even have working toilets, bro. Like if you give somebody a working toilet in certain third world countries, bro, they're going to feel like they're the richest motherfucker in the world. So it's like, you have that bro. Like in, in somebody's eyes, bro, you are the richest man in the world in somebody's eyes that's what you have to understand like you're always doing better than another individual so peep game right once you started focusing on the good things that you had the world could only give you more good things right so that's why now you're starting to make more money so now what you need to do is bro you need to start keep being grateful for what you have and keep focusing on the positive of your life keep focusing on the abundance of your life all the other bullshit because understand like this bro People only feel bad in life, bro, because they're not at a position they don't want to be in, but they're not grateful for the position that they're already in. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to start looking at your life like it's a movie, bro. Like, at the end of the day, you're trying to get to the climax of the movie right now today when, bro, you still in the fucking beginning of the movie. Bro, the movie just started, bro. Like, calm down. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you already trying to get to the good part. It's like, yo, calm down. The whole movie is the good part. The whole entire movie is the good part because it's the storyline of it, bro. Like, you trying to get to the, oh, yeah, I'm rich. Oh, yeah, I got this. I got that. But it's like, bro, you got to understand like this, bro. You only appreciate, you're going to only, you're you're going to appreciate when you actually do become rich. You're going to appreciate when you're actually in a position of life that you want to be in because you went through all the BS beforehand, bro. That's why you got to go through bullshit beforehand, bro. Like even what I'm doing right now, bro, I'm going to keep it real, man. I didn't appreciate this shit when I was doing this shit four years ago, right? When I was 17 and shit, right? I was a little nigga coming from my environment, right? I'm on the internet now. Like, I'm not really, like, bro, it's like, it's different for me, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm on the internet. Like, I used to do crazy shit. I used to do bad shit. I got sent to alternative schools and shit like that, right? So anyway, right? I wasn't dumb. I wasn't dumb. I wasn't dumb. I was never dumb, but yes, bro, I was bad, right? And I was bad because I tried to fit in and shit like that too, bro. You feel me? I was, I was in my environment and shit. Like, I was in the type of environment to where it's like, it's either you this or you a bitch. You know what I'm saying? So it just is what it is type shit. So I was in that type of environment to where it was like, I broke into cars and shit like that because I was trying to get money and I used to do things to get girls and shit like that because I didn't want to be no lame ass nigga, right? So then, boom, I learned from all those things, right? I learned from all those things in my environment. And then I said, bro, like I started really awakening at a young age and I said, bro, like I don't really care about that no more. I don't care about how I'm viewed by people, man. Fuck all these niggas. These niggas gonna be fucking 25 staying with their mama. Fuck these niggas, right? Boom. So I said, fuck it, I'm gonna come on YouTube. Came on YouTube, was top popping my shit or whatever boom at 17 but i didn't appreciate it bro i was still a little nigga i didn't appreciate what i had bro i, I ain't appreciate that shit so i was like man for real and then i started looking at like what i was doing for people i started looking at this shit like a job then i could then i started caring about what people thought about me and shit because now i got a whole bunch of spotlight on me and shit i ain't appreciate that shit bro so then once that happened i said man fuck you too bro because then and then once again i fell out that love with it bro because like they were trying to like de they demonetize my videos and shit i wasn't getting paid as much i started becoming money hungry and shit like that so i said fuck all that shit bro like they demonetized my videos I don't even want to do this shit no more. I'm like, fuck that shit, bro. Like, man, I'm about to get money how I know how to get money. You feel what I'm saying? But, right, I went through bullshit, bro. I slept in my motherfucking car. Bro, I was staying with a fucking girl that wasn't even my goddamn girl, bro. I was staying with a girl that wasn't even my girl. I was hitting licks in her motherfucking car, bro. I, I keep this shit all the way G. I don't give a fuck. Can't find my face on no camera. I don't give a fuck. Like, man, I was goddamn hitting licks in a girl car that that I ain't even fuck with for real. Like, I was just fucked up in life, bro. I was hurt as hell. I was sad in the motherfucker, bro. I was telling myself I was happy. Man, I was sad in the motherfucker, bro. I was fucked up as fuck, bro. Like, I was fucked up as hell. I was always motherfucking paranoid. But at the same time, I ain't give a fuck, bro, because I ain't think death was real, bro. That's why I did a lot of crazy shit, bro. I ain't think death was real. Death isn't real, but I have did a lot of crazy shit, bro, to where it's like I've literally looked at a motherfucker 
And that motherfucker been scared of me because I done told this motherfucker, like, bro, death is not real. Like, real shit. Like, death is not real. That's a that's a scary motherfucker to deal with. Like, when I'm telling you, bro, if, even if I kill you, you not going to die for real. Like, you just going to come back. Right? So, anyway, that's just besides the point. That shit not nothing to boast about. That shit not nothing to flex about. That shit lame as fuck if I'm really being real with myself. Right? That shit lame as fuck. But I love my old self. Right? That's why I, even on YouTube and shit, I still had a YouTube and shit. Like, anything that I ever put on YouTube, anything that I ever made music about, that shit was real. That's what I was reliving at that motherfucking time, bro. I ain't give a fuck. I was hurt as hell and I was like, bro, fuck it. I'm not about to come on here talking about meditating crystals and shit. Nigga, I don't meditate. Nigga, fuck you. I don't do that shit. Simple as that. I was fucked up. I was hurt. I kept that shit real. And I showed everybody because I don't give a fuck. I never gave a fuck. Everybody know this shit. I don't care, right? Boom. So what I'm saying is, bro, I went through all that shit, bro. So now the shit that I'm doing right now, bro, I can appreciate like a motherfucker, bro. Like, I appreciate the fact, bro, that like I can literally dead ass just like sit on here. And, like, not even get money from it. I can just sit on here, bro, and actually do something that feel good for people, bro. Like, I don't want to take from people. I don't want to fucking rob people. I don't want to steal from motherfuckers, bro. That shit crazy. That shit lame as hell, bro. Like, bro, I done seen motherfuckers cry in front of me. Like, motherfuckers that been in and out of jail they whole damn life. Motherfuckers that got bodies. Motherfuckers that didn't do crazy shit. You would think these motherfuckers cold. I done seen motherfuckers cry in front of me. Ask me for help, bro. Ask me for help. Cry in front of me and everything, bro. Like, that shit is not cool, bro. That shit is not cool. I don't... I'm not with none of that shit. You niggas is hurt. Simple as that. You niggas is hurt. You niggas is out here robbing motherfuckers because you hurt yourself. I know because I was like you. Nigga, you hurt as fuck. You hurt... I don't give a fuck how much knowledge you got. I don't give a fuck what you know. Nigga, you hurt. You hurt, bro. That's what it is. You hurt. You need to heal yourself. Hit that love vibration. Simple as that. And try to make this world a better place. But that's how that shit go, bro. So what I'm saying is you got to go through bullshit, bro. Like, if I didn't go through bullshit, like, early on in my life. And if I didn't go through bullshit when I was a kid, bro. If I ain't go through bullshit even... After I got on YouTube, bro, bro, I would not be appreciating this shit right now, bro. I would not be appreciating the fact, bro, that like I'm about to do a live seminar and have a hot hell of people in front of me, bro. I would not be appreciating that shit right now, bro. I wouldn't even. I'd be like, man, this shit cool. I wouldn't be appreciating that shit, bro. I wouldn't be appreciate. I wouldn't even be ready to do that shit, bro. I'd have been nervous, as fuck. I ain't gonna lie, I'd have been nervous as fuck, bro. No cap. That's why I say you gotta understand like this, bro. The bullshit trains you for shit for life, bro. Like, and I'm gonna just keep it as raw as possible, bro. I've been in crazy life or death situations, and I have felt like. You ever feel adrenaline, but, like, you liked it, though? Like, you ever feel adrenaline and, like, you didn't feel scared in that moment? Like, you ever felt like your life was on the line? Like, I've been in moments, bro, when my life is on the line, everybody is scared. But I've been in moments, bro, where it's been police behind me. I got everything that you can name in the fucking book right on my lap right now. And everybody in the car is shaking, scared as fuck. And I'm the only nigga in that bitch like, yo, bro, we good, like... Like, yo, we good. Like, we gonna get home. We gonna make it home. And we make it home. Every We make it home, right? We make it home. So understand it like this, bro. Understand it like this. Understand it like this, bro. I've been in crazy situations like that. Do you think I give a fuck about talking in front of 200, 300 people, bro? Like, you really think that's, like, gonna give me anxiety? You really think that's gonna make... You know what I'm saying? Like, you really, you really think that's about to make me nervous for real? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like... It's certain things like that, man. But, like, that's why I say, bro, you just gotta go through bullshit and like to appreciate things, man. Simple as that. And then even what I'm saying, bro... Yeah, I went through some bullshit in life, but it's people going through way worse shit than me, bro. It's motherfuckers sitting in jail right now, bro. Don't got no money on their books. They ain't got nothing. These motherfuckers got to work, do little dumb shit for like nine cents a fucking hour, bro. For working, bro. Just to call they peoples. Just to try to get them to put some money on their books. And they peoples don't even put no money on their books. And fuck that. Not even just people in jail. It's people in third world countries that don't even have clean water, bro. So it's like even this, bro. Even the bullshit that I went through. Man, that shit won't shit compared to other people. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, don't we get it fucked up, then that shit was a lot, bro. That shit was crazy. I done seen a lot of crazy shit, but bro, it's people that didn't seen, bro, they people that didn't seen other motherfuckers get their head chopped off, bro. In Iraq, all type of shit, bro. Like, you see the shit they going they got going on in Palestine. You feel what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's motherfuckers. Like, you gotta think about shit like that too, bro. Like, like, come on now. Like, I was I was fucked up, but bro, I wasn't going through no Palestine shit now. Niggas ain't going through no Palestinian shit now. Like, you you ain't seeing ba babies getting blown the fuck up right now. Like, we can talk about it. Like, you ain't seeing shit like that happening. Like, you really think you fucked up in life, but then you think about it, damn, like, overseas, these motherfuckers is seeing babies dying every day. Like, you really ain't going through shit for real. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's about staying grounded for real, man. Simple as that. But, yeah, man, hey, I appreciate you, man. No cow. I know I got off topic, man. You got any other question? Nah, for sure. I mean, uh, one other question I do have Bad, put shit. me on. Uh, whenever, whenever that cinema go down and stuff like that, because I'm going to try and stack up my bread, this and that, because it's crazy, because I'm going from a spot to where I ain't been able to get no money type shit like that. And now it's at the point to where I'm like, bro, I'm going to be able to run up like a band 1500 within a month. Hey, right, no that's, can, that's beautiful, like, man. That's beautiful. Like, I know I got that shit, man. It's like, bro, 
I'm like I'm all the way down in Ohio, so I'm gonna have to pay a whole plane ticket, come up there to Miami and everything. But I'm gonna figure that shit out. And I'm gonna get it done. But it's like Facts. bro, I was gonna ask because I'll be making music and everything, bro. I'll literally pay you to perform on that shit too because I know you perform this shit when we up there. Oh, he said you said you said you're what? I like I'll straight bro. I'll pay you to perform on your shit, bro. All right, that's a bet. Well, hey, bro, if you serious, bro, hey, I'm a I'm a, I'm a um ask sticks about that shit, bro. Honestly. And I'm gonna see if that's oh, an option. Sure. If it's an option, if it's an option, you know what I'm saying? Cause I gotta talk to her about it because she's my partner with it. If that's an option, yeah. then we could definitely do that, bro. Definitely. Um, but if it's not an option, bro, hey, maybe we can throw some shit. You never know, bro. I'm a I'm a type of person, bro. I make things opportunity. Maybe I might throw some shit in the future to where it's like it's like an artist showcase in a sense, right? Cause like I do something like that where it's an artist showcase and people can pay like a little small fee, you know what I'm saying, get on stage, and then you know what I'm saying, we got tickets and things like that, and it's like an artist showcase, you know what I'm saying? So you could come perform. We can also talk some knowledge in there too. It could be a whole event event, but we can also do a performances as well. We could do it the next one we have paid performance, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this one we might not do that because it's the first one. Maybe we would just want to keep it like, you know what I'm saying, just what we already got planned. But nah, that might be an option, bro, in the future, definitely. Oh, for sure. Cause like honestly, bro, I'm probably gonna end up moving up around. You got to, bro. You got to, bro. Simple as that. It's not even because. Nah, facts, bro. Facts, bro. Yeah, you got to move anyway just because of, like, honestly, bro, it's not even. Like, you could do it for networking reasons as well, too, but better. Facts. Better circumstances. And it's like, bro, at the same time, bro, it's like. You know what I'm saying? If you is trying to do business with people, it's easier to link in a bigger city than it is linking a smaller city. Like, bro, I stay in Atlanta. So, like, anybody want to link up, bro, just come to Atlanta, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how much business it is in Atlanta, bro? Like, you feel me? If you want to link up, come to Atlanta. Like, yo, if I need to get somebody on a podcast, yo, I'm in Atlanta, bro. Like, come through Atlanta, bro. Like, you been to Atlanta. If you do what I do or you do something close to what I do or you, you know what I'm saying? You do anything business related, more than likely you didn't been in Atlanta before, before. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's how that go. Plus, it gets you out your comfort zone as well, too, bro. You feel me? When you get out your hometown, you get out the place where you're grown up at, where you grew up at, it makes when you get around it, and that's something that I want everybody to do. Like, go travel the world, man. Like, don't just watch self improvement videos. Don't just read books. Actually, go outside and see the world, bro. That's going to teach you to, bro. When I went to Costa Rica, bro, bro, that, that shit changed my life. I ain't going to lie. That shit changed my life. Like, I had a spiritual awakening in Costa Rica. I jumped off the Costa Rica. Bro, I jumped off the plane in Costa Rica with shrooms and everything. Bro, I had a spiritual awakening, bro, jumping off the plane in Costa Rica. Because I seen how them people out there was living. They weren't materialistic. They didn't care what they had on their body. But they was free. Like, no cap. Like, at the end of the day, they still work a job. They still go to work. They still got money down there. They still got currency. You know what I'm saying? They people. But, like, it was just like, man, they living in nature, bro. Like, they... Like I was like, man, like it's like that's that's just that shit was a different vibe. And it's like some people there be thinking like America is the dreamland. Like I remember I was talking to some people, they were like, Yeah, I wanna go to America. Like I wanna get more money down there. I'm like, I'm like, I'm looking at you like what? Like you wanna come to America? Like what the fuck? Like you don't even do you know where you at right now? Like, I wanna come here. You feel what I'm saying? It's crazy. Like, like you don't they don't even realize like they in the dreamland, like they in the promised land, like no. Like, we don't got no resources here. What the fuck? Like, nigga, you walk outside, there's mangoes on the trees and shit. We ain't got that in America. What? But, I mean, yeah, I, I feel it, though. You know, so I understand it. Hey, man, I appreciate you, man. No cap, man. Not for sure, though. That's a bet, bro. Hey, just let me know. Um, You know what I'm saying? This is to anybody. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to get come to the live seminar, then the tickets is in the link in the description. The VIP tickets is like an after party type of thing. It's like where you have a sit down dinner with us, you know what I'm saying? Me and Sticks and then anybody else there that paid for a VIP ticket and then we're just going to be there, you know what I'm saying? If you want to network with me, that's the perfect opportunity to do that. You're also going to get my uh some of my Tuka Detox supplements. You're going to get like a pack of my Tuka Detox supplements. You're going to get some clothes from Sticks. It's like you're going to get like a whole VIP package. Like we're going to actually give you something as well too. You're not just going to have a sit down dinner with us as well. But yeah. Oh, another, another question, bro. Like, because you was talking about like bring your clothing brand and stuff like that just business and stuff like that i got a clothing brand and bring your clothes bro bring your like, clothes like you got like um people like next to actually get manufacturers for it and stuff like that because i got my stuff linked up through teespring and stuff right now so i ain't actually got a, a real manufacturer or nothing like that but go, i'm wondering how do i get that set up go through go through alibaba go through like honestly i'm gonna give you the most, re most realistic way bro yeah. start with alibaba for sure for sure Oh, for sure, because like I, my whole clothing brand is like being around like mo motivational type thing. Like I just be putting perfect. motivational like quotes on my clothes perfect. and everything like that. Perfect. Start with Alibaba, bro. Everybody start with Alibaba. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't gonna say everybody start with that, but definitely choose Alibaba, bro. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Then as you, you know what I'm saying, keep yeah, getting, just get your feet wet with that. Yeah, because I be like, I be messing around with like my 
like flipping controllers, PS4, stuff like that. That's what I've been trying to do right now, like right for the time being, for like this month, just to be able to come up there and get this whole thing done, everything like that. Like I'm just gonna be, try flipping consoles, like laptops, yeah, and stuff like that. You know, to make more profit, happen. what you should do, bro. And this last thing I'm gonna leave you off with: what you should do, bro, when it comes to re reselling things. The most you want to maximize the amount of money that you can make, whatever with whatever you do. So to in order to maximize the amount of money when it comes to reselling electronics, because electronics is a good niche because everybody needs electronics, right? People be like, oh, I'm reselling Jordans. Not everybody likes Jordans, right? It's more people that need an iPhone than it is the people that need Jordans, right? So I look at it like this, right? Actually, you need to look into actually repairing electronics, right? Like when you can actually buy broke electronics, right? right whether it's broke consoles or even broke iPhones, bro. It's people out here that's making... I know a dude personally that makes 30 bands a month from fixing iPhones, from buying broke... I, profit, profit, 30 bands profit, 30 bands profit. Keep this in mind. Not That is not total. 30 bands profit. Buying broke phones, right, and reselling them for profit, right? So what you got to understand is, like, you can literally, and that's not everybody, of course, but, hey, if a dude can make 30 bands from it, why the fuck can't you make five bands a month from that shit? Why can't you make 10 bands a month from that? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what you got to understand is you need to buy broke electronics and fix the broke electronics and resell them off for a higher price, right? Because you can buy them for dirt cheap because they're broke. You just got to learn how to fix it. You got to actually develop that skill to learn how to fix it, right? So keep doing what you're doing, reselling, but if you want to make more money from it, then definitely actually develop a skill of learning how to rebuild it. But yeah, man, that's all I got for you, my boy. Already know my boy. All right. Uh, what? Uh, I just touched my phone, but no. One thing I, would, I did want to say real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I gotta get off of here, my man. Keep go ahead. <laughs> no, for sure. I ain't trying. I ain't trying to fucking. Him. Nah, you good, man. Go ahead. Like that. But yeah, like with the PS4 stuff like that, I actually do know how to fix that stuff. Like I've looked into fixing this stuff like that. But whenever it comes to like buying broken stuff like that, where would you actually have to go to look for those type of things? So I've looked on marketplace, eBay, stuff like that. I can never really find broken stuff. Like you gotta stuff find box, box, box suppliers, box suppliers, right? Definitely box suppliers. So, so like Alibaba stuff like that. I mean, you probably could on Alibaba. I'm not for sure, but not even just Alibaba. Like it's it's just box suppliers in general, bro. You could literally just look up on Google box suppliers of this. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Like you could look up YouTube videos. You can look on Reddit. You could just see like, bro, people have did this shit. You got to find out. Okay, people that have did this shit, where they have they where because they give out game, bro. Everybody's giving like whoever is did it has gave out game on this shit before. Like over half of what I've learned, like on like business related shit on the internet as came from the internet <laughs> facts 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 so yeah bro at least you got the game plan now bro so actually utilize that shit and let's get this shit done bro hey stay great bro i appreciate you my man let's get it hey hey yes, sir. real one real one. Oh shoot hey man so look we're gonna do these calls next week bro for sure for sure it's 12 45 you know i love y'all bro it's 12 45 nigga i'm going to sleep at 1 a.m and i still gotta talk to my girl <laughs> I love y'all niggas, bro, because I'm I'm way past my bed, bro. I'm way past my sleep time, bro. I go to sleep at 10.30, my nigga. It's 12.45. Y'all see, bro, I can't even keep my eyes on, bro. I'm tired. I love y'all, though, bro. No cap. No cap, man. I love doing this shit, man. Hey, live seminar February 23rd, man. Miami, you feel me? Miami, Florida. You know what I'm saying? Miami, Florida. Bro, I'm tired. I can't even formulate my thoughts right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hey, bro. Miami, Florida. Hey, Miami, Florida. February 23rd. We out there. You know what I'm saying? Live seminar. Going to be coming with all the crazy, all the conscious talks, all the conscious talks. I can't even explain this right now. Just if you want to know about it, just watch the beginning of the live. I love y'all, man. Hey, we out here, man. I appreciate